do 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 Hello. Ah. We're here for another stream. I already got a whoa, so I'm uh, I'm I'm pretty happy about that. Thank you, TPT. Yes, Jem is here. A stream when I'm awake. Unheard of. Exactly. It's finally happening. It's happening. Huh. How's everybody doing? Hello, Adam Ansel. You were you were here yesterday, weren't you? Hey, we got the PWMW. Hey, guys. Feels good. All right. Uh, we got a we got a stream going. Another one, right? Friggin' two streams in a row. Two stream days in a row. 1:39 a.m. Pro Strats. Yeah. I don't know why 1:39 a.m. Uh, is Pro Strats, but hey, yeah, I'll take it. Huh. Also, I'm trying. I'm chewing some gum, so uh, I'll try, try not to do it as much. Or you know, if it, if it gets out of hand, just let me know, and I'll you know I can just spit it out. It's fine. Huh. Also, I'm a little bit sad because um, why was I sad? Oh God, I don't even remember now. <laughs> um, what was it? I'm trying. I'm like. I was looking at something, and then... hmm, maybe it'll come to me. Why was I sad? Why? It was. It wasn't like anything serious. It was just you know, it was a little silly thing. But uh, oh god, what was it? Hey, it's Julia. She's here. here. What in the world was it? I can't remember. Oh, this is gonna drive me crazy. <sighs> All right, cool. Julia's gonna stick around and listen. Oh, okay. Oh, right, 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 right. Because the uh, college Wi-Fi. Yes, I remember now. Um. But yeah, again, I'm trying to think of what what it was. I was. I was gonna mention something. Huh. Anyway. Um, so yeah, I guess I might as well just mention now. Uh, I guess I can mention it again in the near future. You know, during this stream. Um, that the last time I streamed yesterday, I actually didn't get to mention that uh, the, the new Frank Your Face Z emotes that I had uh, in the queue last week are actually live now. So we've got the Beeb, we've got a big old Beeb, Beeb emote. Uh, we got the, <laughs> I called it PWMW Lude, cause uh, I, I got the idea for, I think it was like another channel, somebody had sub emotes and it was like a lewd face or something. Uh, it was basically the the head of the uh, the peach, what was it the, the Wii safety thing? Yes, the legendary picture of peach, I believe it was my first channel background and it was, um, it was pretty lewd, pretty inappropriate. So we're just, you know, using the head here, nothing, nothing below the neck, cause uh, that probably get me banned. But yeah, that that's another piece of uh, playing with movie history is that peach picture. And uh, and we've got the winner is a winner is you trophy, which is like I've never actually done big rigs over the road racing, which is where that's from. But I love the trophy. I think it's a great meme. It's a great reference, and it's perfect for like if if it's another like it, you know you screwed up emote. I, I have tons of those now, don't I? I have the I have the fail fish. I have the PWMW rip, and now I have the your winner. So that's like another sarcastic one. Like if I screw up, you know your winner. Oh, what did I say? I said a winner is you initially. Did, what is a winner is you? Where's that from? I I gotta Google that. What is a winner is you? Oh, it's from that <clears throat> that really old NES game called Pro Wrestling. And I believe it was because uh, it was really badly uh, translated from, I believe it was originally a Japanese game and it was really badly translated from Japanese to English. Yeah, a winner is you. Oh, also, yeah, I forgot to update Nightbot with the new emotes. Eh, might as well just do that now, why not? 
do 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 I love the uh what is this again? Uh oh god, uh I'm seriously blanking on the name. Uh Drift City! That was it, my god. Ooh, if I couldn't remember the name Drift City, I was gonna just close my stream. Drift City. Now there's uh there's a game. Oh, also, oh, I had them sorted by alphabetical order. So let me make sure that I actually put them in there correctly. So we've got the PWMW Beeb. Because that one's important. Uh, what else? Okay, after Hey Guys, it's Lude. Now we got Mitt Romney, Mitt Romney, Mitt Romney. Oh, that's right, there's a Ness. There's a Ness uh, emote of him, you know, flashing the peace sign because because, you know, that was another playing with Wii history type thing. You know, the Earthbound playthrough. Fuzzy Pickles. EWMW Ness. What an exciting stream, right? I'm just updating my Nightbot commands, or my uh, Nightbot stats. Too bad. I'm in the winner. Okay, right. Okay. Okay, it was two W's. Okay. Okay. Oh, so that's for the command emotes. Now I need the timer. That's the one that I was actually looking for, was the timer. I got some brand new emotes. Oh, oh, I see, I see, I see, okay. Uh, let's make that repeat every hour, because, yeah, you know, it's, we, we don't want to spam it up the place. All right, I think we're good here. So how's everybody doing? Greetings from a nice spring day in Sweden. Oh, nice. Welcome. Very nice to uh, get uh, get friends from uh, from Sweden. Oh no, not that again. Yes, that again. The peach face. So yeah, I updated the emotes command. Uh, I think I guess you know if somebody wants to use that again and just you know help me double check and make sure that it actually is in fact updated. I would do it myself, but you know I might as well just let other people do it. Why not? This is my fave stream. Thanks, Julia. Yes, this is the well. Technically, the song is from uh, Sonic 06. But yeah, this actual song is from Sonic Generations. It's Act Two of Crisis City. It's such a great song. Uh, I don't know what that emote is, Kite, and I'm afraid to look. No, it doesn't. It doesn't work on uh, on the on-screen chat either. So no, I I don't know what that is. All right. Do I still play Rocket League? Yes. Well, mm, I mean, I have it, but I really don't. I don't play it that much. I like hardly ever play it. And I feel bad. Cause you know, it is a fun game, but it's just like, I'm so bad at it. And it's just like, uh, I hate playing this. <laughs> I knew it, not a complete failure. Oh, oh, right, the song generation. Yes, Jem, you are a very smart person. Don't, uh, don't sell yourself short. Also, somebody made a clip here uh, from my stream last night. And you know, I, I appreciate clips. I think clips are fun. You know what? I should just go um, just just for the just for the halibut. I'll go to uh, my my clips here. Let's see. There is a. I I just want to show off uh, a few of these clips because uh, again I appreciate clips. You know, if you guys make clips, that's cool. I like it. I definitely I, I appreciate it and uh, and I encourage it. Uh, let's see, make sure I'm not spoiling anything here. If I uh, switch to the main screen capture, all right. I think yeah, I think we're good. I think I I have to. Uh, oh no, okay. All right, let's uh, let's switch on over here. Now, this is the one that I wanted to show. This one from last night. <laughs> I had to put that. Look. The El Dorito face in. He, he, I guarantee 99% chance he will not know. Of course not. Of course not with me. See, I knew he wouldn't know with the Dorito face. Oh my god! <laughs> ah! I, 
I'm dead. I'm so... They... <laughs> I got annihilated. They blew everything. Yeah, I'm pretty oh. sure I got, I got like, Thresh hooked. I got Brand stunned, Lee stunned. They just did everything. They, they were just like, hey, here's the Lulu that has 5 million kills. And, like, one death. We gotta kill her. She's to carry. And I just said, hey, Kled, who's carrying this team? And I put the Dorito face. I was like, I guarantee that guy's not going to know what the Dorito face is and that I'm not, like, actually being serious. And Kled's response was, of course, not you. Uh, this one, uh, this one actually has quite a, f quite a few plays here. I've, I've seen this one before. This one's good, though. I feel like I could probably... Oh, God. What is with this, uh, this lag? Probably the top one. No, it's not. God, I think I was right the first time. I think it is the middle of the one. God, why does it always freaking do that? It just, it picks a different direction every single time. I love how, what is it? It's the... My voice didn't clip this one. I like how you called it Ahabihi. Ahabihi. And then uh, and then this last one that my voice and also did. Yeah. Oh, this one. What? Oh, what? Wait. What is with this lag? What's happening here? Yeah. Let's try this again. Oh, what? What? I even <laughs> typed what in the chat. God, I'm, I'm like lagging really hard. I don't know what's happening here, but yeah. Hey, here's the stream. Alrighty then. Oh, oh well, yeah, this, I already, I already posted this. So this, this isn't really like a spoiler or anything, but yeah, that's what I'm going to be doing. So you know what? I might as well switch over to it. That's not it at all. That's a, that's a spoiler. That what is happening here? Why is that upside down? All right. Pretty sure that's not normal. Wait, what? All right. Sure. Well, anyway, I guess that was, that was gonna be like a, a surprisey thingy. But yeah. Uh, so what I was gonna do was I I genuinely assumed that while I was doing stuff in this game, uh, I was gonna be queued up for uh, some dungeons and stuff. <laughs> And uh, I was under the very strong impression that I was that I was gonna be sitting in some uh, some pretty long queue times. So in the meantime, while that was happening, I was gonna play some Super Mario 64. But uh, I don't know what just happened with the OBS. It just it completely screwed up everything, and it switched over to the emulator as opposed to what I had set it to, just five minutes before I started the stream, which was supposed to be Final Fantasy 14. Very upset. <sighs> Might as well finish out this song. Unreal. Mario upside down and just I don't understand what that was. <laughs> anyway, so that was those were some fun clips. I liked those. No, I I have better Twitch TV. It just doesn't show up. Okay, Fireheart is here. Hello, Fireheart and Trinoku. Hello, both of you. Huh. All right. So let's get some gaming. So I think I had actually mentioned this. Oh God. Let's, let's stop with that. Uh, I had mentioned uh, earlier in an earlier stream that uh, I was definitely interested in doing some Final Fantasy XIV gameplay, and uh, and here we are. So uh, yeah, as my character all uh, all grown up from the last time I did the gameplay video, I have a. Oh, my character was a white mage, or I mean, still is a white mage technically, because you can play as like every class in this game. You just you can like class change between all of them, like in an instant. Just quickly, just do this, boom, done. There you go, job change, white mage. Um, but uh, I got to max level on white mage, doing black mage now. I have other ones. I have a uh, uh, what is it? I always forget what ACN is. Arcanist. Archer, got Miner, Rogue, and uh, and Blacksmith, which uh, Miner and Blacksmith are just kind of like side jobs, where you can just like farm and like make stuff for you know the the actual like uh, combat classes. So you know, there's again, there's just like five million different things to do in this game. I thought I'd just switch back to my Black Mage. All right, so I really wanted to do this today because every Tuesday the challenge log resets. And by doing the challenge log, you get tons and tons of VXP. 
for uh, for just doing just basic stuff. Like, I don't really think I'm just PvP, but you know. Uh, doing Fates, it's easy. Leave quests, easy. Guild hats and dungeons, easy. I always get these, and these just give me a ton of EXP, so it's super easy to level. And, uh, and a lot of fun. So, I'm just going to, I believe I'm going to... Uh, let's see if I can... I might be able to actually level off of a guild hast. I don't know. I really, really, really just want to level... Was it one more time? Yeah, I need 50. I might as well just do dungeon. Hello. How are you? And that guy's, uh... I guess he's practicing. Uh, I really want to level because then I can start doing the level 50 stuff. Uh, <coughs> which are... <coughs> God. <coughs> the, uh, the quest that... <coughs> <coughs> okay. My throat got really dry <coughs> randomly. Ugh. It's a sign. I'm not supposed to stream. Uh, I have, like, some quests here that are level 50 quests. And I could do them on my white mage, but the problem is, since my white mage is max level, the EXP bonuses for those quests are just going to be completely wasted. So I really, really, really want to get my black mage to 50 and then be able to do those quests again. It's been like forever since I've done quests because I just, you know, have been sitting here like, yeah, you know, I actually want the EXP for this, so I might as well just build somebody up. All right, um, so let's do that thing that I said, because uh, I'm gonna be sitting here in this queue for uh, approximately 15 minutes, which is uh, mildly troublesome. Now, if I switch the emulator thing, is it going to be Final Fantasy XIV upside down? That's my question here. No, it's not. It's actually going to be correct. All right. I'm dead. Yeah. I'm so sorry. Oh, wait, what? Oh, this isn't showing. Hey. This isn't showing the whole chat. I think. Am I? What? What's happening? Because <laughs> I, I see it saying don't die on. Oh, that would explain why. Don't die on us. There we go, and then, oh, yeah, okay, there we go, alright, perfect, hey, Cedric's here, hello, Cedric, alright, now, now we're good, okay, let me just, uh, mute this, unmute, um, this, alright, let's do some Mario, hey, who just followed me? Uh, Tetris1212, thank you for following me. Oh, that reminds me, there's a, there's a few people that, uh, you know, didn't get their, uh, their required shoutouts for following me while the stream was offline. So, uh, after Jem followed me at the, literally the very end of the last stream, uh, we had this guy. Duplicator25, thanks Duplicator, if you ever see this. Uh, we've got, uh, I, I like how he's Duplicator. We've got this guy. Uh, what is that? I Z Yunkers? Z? I Z L Z Yunkers? I can't tell if that's an I or an L. But thanks to him for following too, and this guy, which uh, actually hadn't been showing up since the beginning there. Yes, yeah, cat face. Cat face. He's got a big cat's face. All right, let's play some game. Let's start from the beginning, cause why not? I guess I could have thanked those people during this, couldn't I have? Oh. The Oderbson, thank you for following. I like I tabbed into my uh, my 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 thing in my Bobby, uh, right as he followed. Also, I shouldn't actually mute that or mute Final Fantasy XIV because I actually need to hear when I get into whoops when I get into a queue or into a dungeon. <laughs> so uh, let me just make sure that I'm actually hearing stuff here. Okay, I, I hear the sound effects. All right, we're doing some gaming. Oh, the uh, oh, is it supposed to be the Odorb son? Like Adorb son, I guess. Oh, Theodore, Theodore B S S so and oh God, I could I really couldn't tell because Theodore usually has an E at the end, so I thought it was the odor. <laughs> Whoops. Hey, it's uh Cedric and uh. Cedric and Julia are just uh, memeing together. I like how I can actually, I can, I can play the game and have a windows over it. Nice. We're, uh, we're already winning at this game. Let me move this over a little bit. Did that mess it up in the, no, okay. Let's 
kind of... See, now this way I can actually see both the chat and the game. Alrighty. What's your opinion on this game nowadays? I, I really like it. You know, I feel like a lot of people are torn on it. Or at the very least, you know, maybe some people feel that it hasn't aged well. Um, I still love this game. I think it's still amazing. You know, it, it was 100% a revolutionary game when it came out. Uh, definitely revolutionized 3D platforming. And, uh, yeah. I don't like the Swedes because I'm a Donald Trump supporter. Oh, whoops. I was watching. I was looking at the chat. It's all Kite's fault. Oh, I'm a Swedes, hence we have no E at the end. I see. Interesting. I did not know that. Hello, big friend. Let's just start with this one, because why not? Oh, dear God. What have I done? Uh, I pretty... You know, I remember... Um, oh, God. Uh, SGDQ 2016, they had a, they had an incentive for, I'm, I'm feeding. I can't, I can't hit this. Whatever. Just take that, oh my goodness, I can't light, I can't light it up. I'm gonna die. They had an incentive at the very end of the, of, of the, uh, the event. For a four player, there we go, finally. For a four-player uh, Super Mario 64 race, and it was really cool. They 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 got the incentive. They did it. It was it was a lot of fun to watch. Uh, the very first star that everybody gets is this one, except they know that, like the fancy, tricky way to glitch into the cage, so they don't have to do that. All right. Yeah, I fed really hard there. Yeah. No, I don't. I you know, I feel like I could definitely practice doing those like those speed run strats. Yeah, I know. The bob -omb speed strat, God, it's like you you pick it up, you throw it, and like right before it hits the ground and explodes, you pick it up again, and then and then you could just move around really fast. Maybe I'll try it here. I don't know exactly how you're supposed to do it. Uh, no, I, I don't know how to... Or, or maybe you're supposed to kick it. I think you're supposed to kick it and then pick it up, possibly. I can't remember now. God, I... Yeah, okay, I have no idea. No! Uh, I don't know how to do it. Are you just gonna do random blade gameplay or what? Yeah, I'm just gonna do random stuff. You know, why not? Just mess around. Do, 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 do. You know, I probably should have uh, started with the sixth star because then I could have un unlocked the uh, the cannons. Wait until it almost explodes. Oh, so I have to let it chase me around. Uh. Oh no, it didn't. Ah, God. Ah. Uh. All right, these water bombs are uh, giving me some severe anxiety here. No. Ah, God. Okay, I can't. I can't do it. Do I have to like? Oh, God. I thought maybe I had to like throw it, and, like in a way that like it didn't throw it very far. I'm pretty sure you can do that. You can just like maybe tiny toss it, or maybe maybe if I throw it against this wall. What? All right. Super Mario 64. <laughs> oh, free coin. You go through here. I I really I have to see how it actually works. Like I I'd have to actually either see some sort of like visual explanation on how you have to do it, or just like read. God, I it's uh, it's so hard. I don't know how to do it. I've never done it before. Hey, Dark Hunter is here. Header, Dark Hunter. Hoo ha. Hoo-ha! It's Dark Hunter. Beedy poop. Oh, so- Oh, that was- I finally remembered! I remembered why I was sad! Um, initially, I wasn't going to do Super Mario 64 in between waiting for these dungeons. Um, what I was going to do was I was going to play Tetris Friends and, uh, and the Swedish, Swedish Armed Forces. The problem is both of those games are dead. Um, they completely got rid of the Swedish Armed Forces game, like, ten months or like a year ago or something. I, like, they had a subreddit for it. Um, I'm gonna throw this guy off the mountain, because that's, that's always fun. Uh, so that's completely gone. And Tetris Friends is like, the website is so severely outdated, it's just, it's terrible now. And, like, any attempt to, like, try to load the arena, 
Uh, at least the, the arena was basically the only thing that I tried. Um, was basically just, it, it just, it wouldn't load. Whee! He's a hacker. Game genie! Oh my god, I'm right in his face. God, I thought it was going to pick me up immediately. OMG Pop is back, at least, although I don't think you play with random, random people. Okay, well, I didn't know either of those things. No, I'm doing the very correct strat. Here it comes. Oh, wait a minute, I can... Oh, that's right, I remember now! Wait a minute, if I... walk... I think if I get to a certain point where I'm not gonna drop him, I can literally just take him and walk around everywhere. Hey, Cordell1603. Ruined run start. Look at this camera! Oh my god, yeah, okay, I dropped him. Game genie! You liked my voice. Oh god. Well, that's a plus two. Well, student loans coming in soon, so why not be a loving, giving person and give something to ya, my friend? Also, this gets me procrastinating for a little bit longer, so that's great, too, hey. Hey! <laughs> Thank you so much, Julia. I really appreciate the donation, and that is super cool of you to donate. You are a super awesome, cool person, and I appreciate all donations, including yours. Because you, you donate to me a lot, I noticed, you know, over, uh, over the amount of time that I've been accepting donations. So yeah, I appreciate all of them. Thank you so much, Julia. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> Cedric. Hey, who followed? Hoo-ha, followed. Uh, chin straps, 412016. Thank you for following. Oh, God. I really, I really want to pick this guy up and, like, walk around with him, but, well, eh, whatever. I might as well just move on. Also, this guy, Game Genie, is really hard, and he spins around instantly. Uh, I believe on the third hit. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. If, if you try to walk around him, he does it. Yeah, 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 I know. I, I know there's no speedrun strat for this, but I'm just saying. Uh, it's, it's just, it's funny to just pick him up and just, just you know, cart him around everywhere. Da -da 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 -do. Oh, hey, oh god, we're in, uh, Q. Oh god, um, oh god. I need to pause this. Uh, let me just, uh, let me just accept here. Let me give my party the good old hey -o. And, uh, I have to mute, oh god, huh, I have to mute this, take this, go back to this, alright, here we go, and, uh, let me put this back on, okay, alright, right, we're not using the controller anymore, <clears throat> alright, uh, what is this, oh no, this one sucks, yeah, this this one's uh this one's awful. Thank you for the stone skin, friend. Alright, let's get some gaming going. Some more gaming, right? Gaming on top of gaming. It's it's gameception. Oh man. Alright, but it's gonna be worth it once I actually get to 50 and I can start running around like a crazy person, just doing quests all over the all over the place, all over Eorzea. Eorzea is mine by rights. BRB, my mouse is dying. Oh, we're off to a good start. Thank you so much for hosting me. Cordell. Cordell1603. The guy that, uh, that, that just joined. Yeah, this one is really not the greatest dungeon in the world because it's not terribly difficult. But it just takes forever. As you can tell, we're just we're still on the. F oh, that would explain why, because we didn't have our second DPS here. Right. I mean, it it still takes a while, regardless. But you know. Okay. So the general strategy with the uh, Black Mage is uh, you have three different elements to choose from for your. Uh, for your main attacks. You have fire attacks, ice attacks, and lightning attacks. And, um, the fire attacks are your bread and butter. They do the most damage, but they also cost the most MP. Uh, ice attacks don't do as much, 
but when you use a fire attack or an ice attack, you get, uh, well, it just disappeared. There's like a spinny blue thing around me. That was umbral ice when I use a, when I use an ice attack. It gives me umbral. What in the world is this guy doing? Please do not pull the bee. He's going to pull the bee. He's pulling the bee. Where's the bee? I don't see it. Oh, it's over there. All right. I think. Pretty sure there's two bees here. Anyway, I'm really nervous about the bees because uh, the temple bees in this dungeon do an absolutely ridiculous amount of damage. I'm pretty sure there's no bee in there. Yeah, no. Okay. Um, so yeah, now I have two spinny things around me. So, uh, fire, using fire attacks will give me astral fire, which, uh, increases fire damage. I actually don't 100% know what astral fire does. But umbral ice, when I use, uh, ice attacks, it automatically regens my MP. So, uh, there's an additional skill in between using those things called transpose, which is on my four. Uh, and Transpose lets me switch between Umbral Ice and Astral Fire. So, uh, I'm immediately able to get the benefits of having either of those when I use the opposite, or when I use the, uh, related element. So I switched to Umbral Ice, and then I just use Ice Attacks. Yeah, Fire Aspected spells require less MP, but do less damage. MP regeneration has quickened. So that's Umbral Ice. Astral Fire says, uh, Fire Aspected spells require more MP but do more damage. Ice Aspected spells require less MP but do less damage. MP generation has stopped. Or regeneration has stopped. Okay. So, yeah, I, I was right. It just, it makes, it basically just makes fire attacks do more damage. And then, and then, and then you have the lightning attacks, which are, basically I like to use those during Umbral Ice. You know, like, while I'm waiting for Transpose to come off cooldown, as well as my MP to fully regenerate, uh, I like to use those then, so that, you know, it basically just costs, like, nothing. Uh, and the, oops, and the electric attacks, uh, just basically do damage over time. They don't do too much damage when you hit them initially, but, uh, let me mark this dude. Because we need to kill that guy very, very quickly. Is he aggroing the other one? That's the question here. He is, and it's coming for me. I'm not a big fan. No. No. Why is it aggroing to me? I would really appreciate it if it didn't do that. Yeah, we need to kill these things fast. Uh, if you don't kill them quickly enough. I believe it's either if you don't kill them quickly enough, or when they die, they do a ton of damage, and it's absolutely disgusting. The tank could potentially die from it, which is not fun. I don't think I need to mark the, the other B. Oh, it's dead. I don't... Oh, see? See, I did a billion damage to that guy. I think it basically just, like, at some some point, it basically just kamikazes. Yeah, he said sorry because he aggroed both of the bees. That's not what you want to do. You definitely want to kill them one at a time. And there's another one. There's one right there. Gonna give this bee a virus, which, uh, what does that do? It lowers their strength and dexterity by 15%. So basically it just makes them hit less, and I think it just makes them do less damage. I'm going to die if we don't kill this bee. It's gonna kamikaze into me, and I'm gonna die. Please kill the bee. Please kill the bee. Okay. Ooh, okay. That's, that's, that is probably the worst part about this dungeon, is the bees. Not the bees! Did anybody do bee yourself? The, the better Twitch TV uh, emote, be yourself. Somebody said not the bees. I definitely, I see that. I just tabbed out really quick. Yeah, not the bees. Somebody just put a bee. I don't, I don't see any bee yourselves. Feels bad. Also, yeah, something that, um, Maboysen pointed out when he was watching me play this is uh, he pointed out the fact that I think I actually mentioned this in the gameplay too the fact that I click my skills uh, I don't know sometimes I click them sometimes I press the key uh, it's just basically whatever helps me at the time I'm gonna whoops I did it too late okay <laughs> whatever not a big deal why, why aren't we walking hello all right well we gotta wait for this guy because he's the tank no it's uh it's I'll, I'll, uh, I'll type it. It's just the letter B. 
and then U R B U R self capital U as well. It, it's it's pretty confusing. It took me a while to actually memorize it because of the re weird way that it's like capitalized. So this mini boss is uh, interesting. It's got a little bit of a mechanic slash gimmicky thing to it. Um, we're basically at a certain point he'll do this massive AOE that will inflict us with a debuff uh, called. I actually don't remember what it's called. It's like certain death or something. It's something ominous. I love how that that was perfect, the amount of MP that that cost me. Uh, it's like certain death or something. And it counts down from 10. And we have to step on one of these three uh, brass looking platforms that we have on the ground here. Uh, the one that's glowing. And that will get rid of the debuff. If you don't get rid of the debuff in time, when the 10 seconds are up, you will instantly die. Oh, I didn't even see him spawn that. Weird. Oh, I actually have Fire 3 here. I didn't even notice. Fire 3 will definitely come in handy here. Oh, God. Let me get out of that. <laughs> Big fat AoE. Oh, here it comes. I actually want to see what it's called. Oh, here it is. Doom. That's it. We gotta step on this and then that gets rid of it. So yeah, I knew it was something ominous. Doom. Do I have to? Do I really have to kill these things? The tank is dead. That would explain why. Woo, lad! What is wrong with this uh, this tank? He's um, he's messing up, to say the least. Yeah, we're all dead here. Okay. Kill the wasps. Oh. I, you know, I remember the last time I did this uh, dungeon, it was like a couple days ago, a few days ago. Uh, oh, right. That's that's to make you actually leave. Uh, it was like a few days ago or something. I don't remember actually having to kill the wasps, and I was playing Black Mage then. Can you not hear me? What? Guess he's talking to this guy. Oh, Estrella. That's why he said asked. Is there no shortcut? I If there was, I missed it. Lull. What is... Did we take this? You have to, like, get a thing or something. Oh. That would have helped. Yeah, we have to we have to pick these things. What is happening? Father-in-law aggro. Okay. So not only is this a dungeon that takes forever, but we just died. And... Uh, our... I think this... I swear that's mechanic. Yeah, we're not picking these things up. I'm pretty sure we need these for later on. Um, uh, this guy, our other DPS, is having like these AFK issues. Huh. I guess I'll just go see what the chat is up to. What is that face? Oh, right, because you watch the Yordles. I don't even know what that is. What is that? Fish moly. Okay. Pee yourself. Oh, I see. All right. Hey, Ruby is here. Hello, Ruby. <coughs> Do I have AOE? Of course. Pull your pull, pull the boss yourself and blame the healer when you die. Uh, is that is that a thing that you do in WoW? Is that like a is that like a, a WoW meme that you guys have? Boys B. Hello, Boys B. When I first played and died. Oh, Boys B has Boys B has played this game. Okay, that's cool. All right, so we're doing protect because uh, that's that's what a healer do. That guy's actually a conjurer or a white mage, I should say. He's actually a white mage. <coughs> yeah. Hopefully everybody's ready here. <sighs> this guy. Uh, so first, at the beginning of the dungeon, what did he say? My mouse died or something? And now, like, five minutes later, he's like, father-in-law aggro. Great. Uh, yes, yes, I'm just waiting. Why was there no healer healing me? Oh, you're playing a monk now, that's cool. Yeah, I, um... I'm, I'm not, like, a huge fan of the melee classes. Um... But, you know, eventually at some point, you know, I, I assume I'm going to eventually go through all of the classes. That's the master strat, I was blame the healer. I mean, that's, that's like, basically the same thing in, in League, you know, you blame the support.
<laughs> Blame the mercy in Overwatch. We're just waiting. I'm gonna poke this guy. Da, 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 da. Poor support mains, exactly. It's hashtag support life. Uh, playing Chema, Cedric. I've been trying to get everything to 60 before Stormblood comes out. Wow, you have about a month, month, month and a half or so. But uh, yeah, if anybody doesn't know, Stormblood is the next expansion, which will be the second expansion uh, for this game. Sometimes the platform changes on you. I've never seen that before. That's interesting. I guess that's something to keep in mind because I've never actually seen that. <coughs> Hello, Existify. <sighs> God. This is actually kind of awful. I, I've, of course, it would have to be the the dungeon that I do while I'm streaming that this actually happens. I think I've gone through, hmm, about two dozen dungeons in a row. Oh God. Uh, and stuff like this just hasn't happened. Of course this would have to happen while I'm on stream. Anyone played Final Fantasy XIV prior prior to the redo. That would be interesting. I, I don't know if I've ever talked to anybody that's played the original Final Fantasy XIV. I've seen one video on it. The HUD looked like so outdated. It looked really, really bad. Um, the, the video that I saw of it was actually the end of the server event. Um, you know, just before they shut down FF14, you know, to make way for Realm Reborn. And it was a very interesting event. It, it just, it was like it was like Dawn of the Final, or the Eve of the Final Day, I guess. Uh, Majora's Mask type thing. It, it was very cool. <coughs> it was like this massive meteor. <coughs> it's just like in the sky. I assume you're able to see it like every single map. Uh, it's just like, you know, you look up to the sky and you see a massive meteor. And it's just like slowly moving towards, you know, and then a certain, at a certain point in, in real time, uh, the servers would shut down, and everybody would play this, uh, the, the event would play this video clip, or a cutscene, for everybody on the server, and it was basically, like, it showed how the, like, I guess the war, or whatever, that was happening, uh, lore-wise, ends, and it was basically, like, you know, the, it's sort of like a bad ending, it looked kind of like a bad ending, there was, like, some hope, um, but you know, like for the most part, it was like, it was like a bad ending sort of thing. It was just like, oh no, how are they supposed to, you know, triumph over this? And then, and then it says, uh, there's, there's like some text at the end. It's just like, but every end has a beginning. And then it shows the logo for a realm reborn. And then it was like coming, you know, like March or whatever, a month from whenever the server shut down. It, it looked super cool. I, I really liked that. I might actually, you know what, now that now that we're not doing anything, I might just look for it. Let me just look for it real quick. I don't remember what it was called. I'm sure I can find it again. Um, let's see. Server shutdown. This might have been it. This also might have been it. Final Fantasy XIV, the final 11 minutes, the end of Aorzea. This is it. This is the video. Okay. So I got it ready to go. I, I don't know when this guy's going to come back. So I'm not going to, like, just tab out and start watching that thing. And then, you know, this guy comes back and we're just fighting the boss. So I'll just I'll just wait until we're done with this dungeon. <coughs> the pink squad is... Oh, the names. Pink names. Okay. I was about to say, wait, what's the pink squad? Oh, God. You know, it's actually a good thing that people on this game are actually really nice, and for the most part, are very patient. Cause if this was League or anything other, like you know, I guess Overwatch, or whatever. Oh my God, we're finally ready. All right, here we go. Finally, we did it, boys. We're in. Oh my God. All right, let's do this. Let's actually kill this guy this time. All right, so apparently I have to focus the wasps. Um, like I said last time I was fighting this 
the specific mini boss, I don't remember having to focus the wasps. Maybe the other DPS that I had on that team was actually paying attention to them, so I didn't have to. Also, I have raging strikes, I forgot. Raging strikes will basically just boost my damage output. Oh, there they are. Dong wasps. Really? Oh, okay. It's dead. Like I said, somebody else is just always paying attention to them, so I don't have to. Of course, I didn't have them. Maybe what happened the last time was the... Uh, I, like I said, I swear this was mechanic. I'm just gonna say mechanic from now on. I swear the mechanic was, um, he might have just, you know, been uh, father-in-law or whatever. Yeah, pop my sprint here. Oh, I'm not popping sprint. Ah! Oh my god. Oh, it wasn't going away like the second I stood on it, so I got a little nervous there. Oh, there's, oh, that's what he means by it'll change on you. Because I believe once he starts doing this AoE. Oh, yes, okay. It, um, it starts to ship. He's, he's on the wrong one. He's on the wrong one. He's going to die. Oh, never mind. He doesn't, I don't see the debuff on him. I think. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's good. Okay, here we go again. Right here. Nope, it moved. Make sure that I don't get jabated over here. <coughs> Long have we waited, now we debated. Kinda does that quite a bit. I wasn't expecting him to do it that many times in a row. Take care of these things. The dung wisp. Wisp. It's a wisp. I don't know why they're spelled like that. Oh god. I was out of mana and I wasn't paying attention. I was just staring at what HP the wisp was at. All right, we got this guy. Also, I forgot to do raging, raging strikes again. You know what? I'm just gonna do it right now. Screw it. <clears throat> very, very frightening. Thunder and lightning. Very, very frightening. All right, he's dead. All right, let's get our loot chest. Here it is. And that guy died. Apparently, I didn't even notice. <coughs> Isn't this the thing I'm wearing right now? Apparently, it's not. Interesting. Oh, whoops, I forgot to uh, transpose. So now I, I'm a little bit low on MP. Hey, I got it. I rolled need on it, so it was probably like, oh my god, he aggroed both of them. He's dead. He's dead. 100%. He's dead. Oh god, he aggroed them both again. I don't know if he knew that there was one right around the corner. I did. That's why I was standing up over here. So I was kind of hoping that he would just walk up to one of them and just pull it over. But yeah, he's almost certainly dead. He needs to be like constant full HP. He might not die. Let me uh, virus this thing. Maybe that will help. Mm -hmm. He's almost dead. Okay. That was fine. He actually had more HP than before. I think my virus actually did help. I believe he had twice as much HP than he did the last time when he got kamikaze by the bee. That's, um, yeah, that thing's aggro to me now. Whoops. Actually, that's not really a whoops. Um, okay. Yeah, the monsters have a tendency to do that. Where, like, if you do too much damage as a DPS, it will literally just shift the aggro to you instead. Which, uh, I've gotten used to. Because apparently Black Mage just does a just ridiculous amount of damage. See, like I said, sometimes I use the keys, sometimes I click. What? Okay. That guy just died. So we're fighting giant stone heads. Because, you know, that's normal. Oh, it's attacking me. Okie doke. Interesting. Oh, we have to get the heads to stand on the thingies. I believe. I believe. Or maybe not. I don't remember now. Because that's kind of like a mechanic in this uh, in this dungeon, like for the for the boss, gotta kill the faces on the platform. Oh, okay. So bring him over here. Duke. Okay. Uh, that's like a mechanic on this on this particular dungeon uh, for the boss fight. Uh, I believe you have to do that as well. Dun, 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 dun. 
I love the name of the, the monsters in this dungeon. The accused, the condemned. <clears throat> Makes you wonder what exactly happened lore-wise in this dungeon. There's a lot of story to this game. I mean, of course, it's a Final Fantasy game, but still. It has quite a bit of story to it. My nose is running, and uh, I'm not a big fan of that. Just having to do that constantly, or deal with that. I just have a tissue in one hand, and I'm just clicking with the other hand. Ugh. That didn't sound right at all, did it? I have a tissue in one hand, I'm clicking with the other hand. Heh, <laughs> heh, Kai gets it. Kite's the only one. Kite, Kite's the only one that understands me. He knows, man. He knows. He's been there. Let's see raging strikes. Just blast these guys with a bunch of AOE. Not gonna have enough here. I can do convert though, which sacrifices some of my HP to give me some mana. So that way I don't have to use transpose. I can just get in a couple more fire twos. <clears throat> I definitely like being able to buffer skills, though. That is, um, that is a good thing, and very welcomed in my book. Like, where if I click on a skill, like, while another skill is busy casting, once that, once that first skill comes off, uh, or finishes casting, then the other skill will just immediately go off. Burp. Oh. All right. You know what, I think those things that I picked up were actually not necessary. I think that they're for like these optional rooms here. I think I can see them from here, over this stone. There's a thing that's a stone pet. Yeah, they're, they're two stone pedestals. And, um, and I believe if you place the things that I picked up, uh, you'll open them. I, I don't really know what's there. I guess it's just like a side room with maybe some enemies or something. Maybe there's some loot. Uh, I've, I've never had a party that actually opened them, so I don't know. Alright, well, we'll just pull them all the way over here. Why not? We have to go this way anyway. Desuklo. What else do I have? What about I, I... Oh, God. <clears throat> the thing about dungeons is... Um, they have a certain level limit to them. Like, you can... Where is this guy going? Okay, bye. Uh, they have a certain level limit to them, where if your character is actually higher than the level limit of the dungeon, it will sink your level to the highest allowed level. Where is this guy? Hey, look at him! He's just taking a trip around the dungeon! She's like, wow, what's over here? I've never seen this place before! You know, I've been meaning to look here. Wow. The decoration in this room is amazing. Where did he go? Where is he? Where'd he go? He's just gone. I'm pretty sure he went over this way. Where did he go? Oh my god. Wow, I love what they did with this room. Wow. That was a meme and a half. I don't know what happened to that guy. Oh, I shouldn't have... Ah, oh, it still went through. Like I was saying, the, the buffer thing, uh, it actually went, my virus actually went through. I didn't want it to, because uh, we're about to fight a mini boss in like 10, 20 seconds here. Whoops. Maybe, maybe slightly longer, because these guys have quite a bit of HP. I think we're on different targets here. I think these guys are on wall crawler. What is that, Q? I like how each individual <clears throat> monster has their own letter next to them. Um, I guess for just for targeting purposes, like if you want to like call out which which enemy you want to hit first, say wall crawler R, and then you know then you can uh, target wall crawler R and just start laying into him. Also, tab helps uh, automatically swap between enemy targets. Which, it's not very helpful in dungeons where there's like 5 billion enemies, like the first dungeon. 
Like, once you get to a certain room, there's like... Uh, there's like three dozen enemies, and just, you have to tab 5,000 times to find the one that you want. Don't do any damage while the stone is up. Oh. Oh, right, because that guy's new. I forgot. Yeah, we have to focus the soul stone. Yeah. Just mark that. <coughs> Oak doke, artichoke. Oh, I did my uh, transpose too late. How's the chat doing? That was a short test. Okay. Good job, Trinoku. I like <laughs> Cedric and Julia and Dark Hunter just memeing around. Love it. Alright. <laughs> We're making sure that uh, everybody is on the same page here. Okay. <sighs> okay. I think we got it. What in the world? Oh god, he just used a food item. I don't even know what he used. I might as well just use Raging Strike. Actually, you know what? I should have saved it for the actual Guardian. But, eh, whatever. It's not a huge deal. Let's get a little Convert going on there. Does anybody like how I'm saying that? Convert? Like, I'm, I'm really, uh... Oh, God. Okay. I thought I made a boo-boo. I'm really, uh... I'm stressing the, the O, I guess. Convert. I just, I keep getting this. Every time that there's, like, yellow dotted lines around my electric skills, or my thunder skills, um, that means that I proc'd this passive, which basically gives me a free and instant thunder skill. And I just got it like three times in a row. I don't know what happened there, but uh, it was uh, interesting. I really, I really just wanted to DPS him down with some fire, but uh, instead, the game decided, nah, it's time to RNG Jesus you. So yeah, every time we kill the soul stone, then we can hit the guardian. But it does regen. God, that guy just pulled aggro. It should regen in about a second here. Yeah, there it is. Oh, dear God. Wait a minute, do I have... Oh, I thought I had Blizzard 3 here. I was about to say, was I actually wasting that this whole time? Because, like, uh, I was actually looking up... Um, Oh my, goodbye. I was actually looking up uh, like what you're supposed to do high level as a black mage. Um, and you're actually not supposed to use transpose once you're able to activate both fire three and blizzard three. Uh, you basically just swap be between them. Like you still do the thing, you know, blizzard three still gives you astral fire. Or I mean, uh, umbral ice. So you still do the thing where, you know, you wait for your mana to regen and then you start spamming fire three, but you don't use transpose in between them because um, when you use Fire 3 and Blizzard 3, you instantly get two stacks on the on the opposite one. So, you know, if I do, if I'm in Umbral Ice or whatever, and then I use Fire 3, uh, I'll instantly get two stacks of Astral Fire. And then from there, you know, then I'll then I'll just be starting a, a ton of damage with, uh, with Fire 3. What are we waiting for? Why do we keep waiting? My god. God, please go. I'm just going. I really, like, again, this never happens when I'm not streaming. I promise. Oh, my God. I really want to complain. I really, really, really want to complain. Oh, my God. So what? He's telling him this now. 
Oh my god. He tells him this after we kill the boss. He could have told him during. He could have told him before the boss. Or he could have just waited and told him after we were done with the dungeon. No, he has to tell him right after we kill the mini boss. Great. Or, or tell him while we're fighting these things. Like, honestly, you could just stand in the middle of the things while we're killing it and just tank and then type that. Oh, my God, why? It's never going to get out of this dungeon. Never, 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 never. What am I doing? Forgot to transpose. Oh, my God. <sighs> Unbelievable. I think on the next group of uh, enemies, if I'm going to use uh, Raging Strikes here. Alright. They did. Oh, we should be close to the end here. I believe we're about to go to the opposite side of that, uh, that fallen pillar that I was jumping over to see... Uh, yeah, we're close. Ish. There's like, there's like this group, there's another group after that, uh, then we go up some stairs, and there's like two more groups, I think, and then I believe we have to like do something, and then another group spawns, and then it's the final boss. <coughs> so yeah, quite a bit of killing. Quite a bit of killing. You know, I'm gonna stand in the middle of all these guys and just spam Blizzard too. What? Oh, I didn't use Transpose. Lull. PWMW Failfish. I don't, I don't understand what these faces are doing, but they, they just do whatever they please. They go wherever they want to, they they aggro whenever they want to, they de-aggro whenever they want to, you know? This is, this is, um, this is just totally, totally copacetic for them. They just don't care, man. No cares in the world. <laughs> Alrighty. So I believe we have to kill the avoid... Of, what is that? Avoy, Avoyer Dupois? I don't even know what that is. Av oh, maybe it's Av Avoir Dupois? I think I think that's how it's pronounced. Avoir Dupois. Oh, God. Why well, you gotta go after me, Mon? Oh, good. He, he aggroed back to the tank just in time for his... Uh, his AoE skill. I didn't transpose. What's happening? I use. I swear I used transpose and then I used Blizzard and I just wasn't gaining MP back. Unless I didn't actually transpose and I just used Blizzard, broke Astral Fire, then got Umbral Eyes on the next tra on the next uh, Blizzard cast. That would explain why it took so long. Oh hello. Why is what? Oh, he's going for the healer. Hello. Oh, <laughs> Is that that guy from before? I think that's actually I think that's actually the guy from before, the one that literally walked away. I'm pretty sure that's him. I have to kill him. He has to be taught a lesson. You don't walk away. Oh god. I'm alright. This guy! No, get back here! I have to kill him. I have to kill him! Where is he going? Where is he going? Where is he going? I have to kill this guy. I'm so sorry, team. I have to kill him. He he needs to be taught a lesson. I'm I'm sure they'll be fine without me. It'll be Where is he going? What? Somebody please clip that. Please, I'm begging you. Somebody clip that. I will love you forever. I leveled. I just leveled. I just randomly leveled. Great. Just, I don't understand. 
I don't I don't even know what to say to that. I, I don't I, I want to tell my team, but I don't know how to explain that. There's just there's just a ghost head just wandering about the dungeon. He just appears whenever he wants to. He leaves whenever he wants to. He's 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 he is the dungeon. He is the dungeon. Unbelievable. That made all of the waiting worth it. All of it. Every every last second of waiting and just sitting here and just dying inside because I have to wait an extra half hour to finish this half hour long dungeon. <clears throat> Unbelievable. He, he came back. I literally, cause I know I saw him make that right turn down that, that pathway and then he just disappeared. I was like, where did he go? I thought maybe the team killed him, but I didn't see any of them hitting him. So I was like, what happened? And then he just shows up. He, he was just there. He was he, he was there. I have video proof of this. I'm, I'm actually so glad that I got that on stream. If that would have happened like during like just a normal run where I was just, you know, just playing by myself, I, I would have been super disappointed because I'd be like, my God, I wish I was recording that. And I was recording that. Wow. Oh, the, the link isn't isn't showing. I can't link my clothes. There we go. I'll just I'll just post it for you. It it shouldn't get deleted if I post it. I will look at it momentarily. That was absolute insanity. I don't understand that. But that was hilarious. Lol. That's all. Where is. What? Hello? Oh my god. The guy literally had to walk over to the treasure coffers. I don't want that. I do want that. <laughs> I don't want this. What is this? I don't. I don't want. No, I don't want that. Alright. So this is the final boss. This is the adjudicator. And. Uh, oh, hey, I got the, the thing I actually wanted. Um. I actually don't know what the deal with this guy is. Uh, something about the, the things on the floor. Uh, he makes like a cube or something that traps people in. Uh, there's a bunch of monsters that he spawns that shoot lasers in a very set path wherever they're standing or whatever they're facing. Uh, the faces must die on the platform. I think that's what I was just talking about. I think it's a bunch of faces that he spawns. Speaking of which, I, just, I keep looking behind me just to see if that guy just appears again. He's gonna appear again. I, I just, like He's gonna show up after we kill the final boss. And we're not going to be able to complete the dungeon until we chase him around and kill him. That would be the funniest thing imaginable. <laughs> He's the secret final boss. So if you go aggro, it takes the platform. The verves need to die. Okay. See, like, every time that I've actually done this one... Like, I think I've done this, this dungeon once as a DPS. Every other time was as a healer. So I never really had to worry about it. The only thing I had to worry about was not getting hit by the lasers and not getting stuck in the box. The ones with the box looking thing underneath will trap you inside till the verve dies. Oh, I see. So, oh, the verves are like, they look like onks, I think. And I believe uh, somebody needs to step inside the box. Unless, uh, maybe, I don't know. Unless nobody gets trapped inside of it. I don't know what happens in that case. I'm pretty sure you can still hit it from outside the box. All right, come on, let's go. Everybody's ready, dude. Don't just sit there. <laughs> you literally did a ready check, and everybody said ready, so you still sit there and wait. Great. What an awesome tank. I like how the three of us are just standing here together. This looks really cool. Uh, that is a uh, that is a face that needs to die. On the, uh, on the platformos. Da, 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 da. There we go. Very good. 
Oh, I should be doing Raging Strikes. <clears throat> the thing about Raging Strikes is this is not an actual Black Mage uh, skill. Uh, this actually comes from Archer. Uh, the, the thing about this game is that there are certain skills that can be used as cross skills, or cross class skills, and uh, with the Black Mage you can use the, uh, the Archer's Raging Strikes as a cross class skill, which just basically, like I said, it just increases your damage by 20%, which is just awesome. What? Oh, there. I didn't see that one. Sorry, I was kind of busy killing the other one. Sky, boom, thunder. thunder two. Transpose, boom, fire, and he's dead. Oh, okay. He was already dead. Is that guy even on there? Pretty sure he's dead, yeah. Okay, so this actually isn't that confusing of a boss battle. Now that I actually know what to do. Because the last time I did this, when I was, uh... When I did this as DPS, um, I actually just had no idea. I was just killing stuff like as it appeared. And I think at some point somebody said that the faces need to die on the platforms. And I was just like, whatever, dude. The, the boss was like, had, has, had like one HP. And there was just things everywhere. There was verges everywhere. There was faces chasing everybody. And it just, it looked really, really bad. But the, the adjudicator was almost dead. So it's just like, okay, I'm just going to focus this guy. And we killed him and it was over. Ugh. Oh. Da, 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 do, 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 do. Oh, hello. Yeah, I think this is what happened. There's like three of them that spawn like at the same time. You know, I don't I don't care. I'm gonna get hit by that. Yeah, okay. That didn't do that much damage. Oh, what am I doing? I started casting fire when I had Umbral Ice. A little ahead of myself there. Oh, screw it, dude. Just do the, uh, fancy pants limit break. Just whack his face. Woohoo! That was fun. Alright. Should be able to just kill him very quickly here. Just DPS him down. DPS him down. DPS him down. DPS him down. And... He's dead. Oh, all right, command this guy because he didn't AFK and he didn't talk for five years, so he gets a he gets a commendation in my book. Clap for everybody. I don't know what a hellfire is. Oh, it's for the ma machinist machinist. I can't remember how that's actually pronounced. So the actual machinist on our team is going to get it if he doesn't have one already. He just needs to press need because nobody else can. Okay, I'm just gonna leave. Just, you know, I was gonna wait to see if the, uh, if I actually got that gun. And I was definitely not going to, but I don't care. <laughs> Alright. <clears throat> so nice to find one of those. I don't think it's a game-breaking bug, but that was, uh, that was definitely pretty amazing. Does everybody like my meme name for the stream? Disney's Final Fantasia 14? I thought it was funny. Oh, you know what? I didn't. I didn't actually get to see if uh, Kite responded to me when I was talking about what was it? I said uh, tissue in one hand, uh, clicking with the other hand. Oh, I don't think he was here. The oh, he said the Black Lives Matter rotation, and I was like, wait, what is he talking about? And then I realized the the shorthand for Black Mage is BLM. I literally, that never crossed my mind once, and now I'm not going to be able to unthink that. Oh? Oh, okay, hey, now he heard it. Thanks, Kite. Thanks, buddy. See, I was saying that you're the only one that would understand it, because you're the only one that gets me. You're the one that's been there. <clears throat> All right. Let's, uh, let's watch this Foony clip. Where is, uh, let me see here. Do, 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 do. Alright, he's he, funny. He needs to be taught a lesson. Oh, you didn't you didn't clip the whole thing. I'm, I'm sure they'll be fine without me. It'll be Where is he go What? <laughs> he just Somebody disappeared! Clip that Please, he just... I'm begging you. Somebody clip that. I he just disappeared! Oh my god. 
he go? What? <laughs> Why is it? I hate how it's I'm lagging so badly. Where is he go? What? <laughs> he just disappeared. Somebody please click that. But yeah, uh, the thing with clips is that you can edit them. Uh, if you actually pick edit clip underneath, uh, like, you know, where it shows the preview of what you're clipping. If you clip edit, if you click edit clip, it will take you to a timeline thing that goes back to the previous two minutes, and you can move the uh, the area that you want to clip like back and forth. And you can also extend it up to like sixty seconds, which I think I'll probably just clip it myself later on. You know, like after the stream is over. But uh, yeah, this this was the uh, the end of Final Fantasy fourteen, the original. Let me um let me mute this really quick. Uh, where's the actual where it happens? Here we go. Alright, got ten seconds here. So this is, I like, like I said, I assume this is what everybody's seeing in every map. If you look up, you just see this ominous looking red meteor. And everybody's, everybody's just grouped up, standing here, just waiting for the end to come. Here it comes. So yeah, it's just like, this, this is the event. The event is it triggers this cutscene, which it takes this guy like five years to actually load. Can you just imagine? Can you, like, I, I couldn't imagine that there, there was, like, maybe players that actually didn't know that this was going to happen, and they're, like, in the middle of grinding, or, like, they're doing a dungeon or something, and then all of a sudden it just goes black, and it just goes now loading, and it's just like, wait, what is happening? And then you just see this cutscene start. Could you imagine? Like, people probably, like, poop themselves. Like this, this unavoidable, unskippable cutscene that you have to watch, and you're just watching everything just get destroyed. There's Ulda. That's one of the towns. I'm pretty sure that was Gridania. They might have shown Limsa Luminza, but I didn't, I wasn't paying attention. <laughs> Oh yeah, these these three. Uh, I think well, th I think there's actually four. This guy you actually fight in Realm Reborn. He's part of the main storyline quest. There was um, there's like three or four people there, like standing on the top of that cliff, that are actually really really important characters. Uh, start, like in a Realm Reborn, the main storyline. Oh, there's this guy. This guy's actually important to the storyline as well. If anybody's familiar with Final Fantasy, like, you know, like, the, the main, like, the, like, the, the multi-game lore, like, the overall lore, if anybody's familiar with the name Sid, yeah, that, that guy with the gray hair was this, is the Sid in this game. Or Highwind, I guess, you know, Sid Highwind. That's the thing that was in the meteor. <clears throat> That's another, uh, like, uh, overarching, like, Final Fantasy thing is Bahamut. Or Bahamut. That's, that's Bahamut. The dragon that came out of that giant meteor. God, that looks just, that looks so cool. It's just like a massive firework in the sky. This is this just looks really great. Uh, I think they actually redid or, or like replayed this cutscene, but with some additional stuff afterward. 
uh, for our Realm Reborns. Uh, I think it was the very first like opening cutscene uh, that they created. There's like there's like an opening movie or something that you can watch before you log in. Oh, we're using Protect. <clears throat> I actually don't know who this character is. I've never actually run into this character. I feel like if he's this important, I feel like he might have actually been mentioned multiple times in the story and I might have heard the name, but I, I've never seen this character in the game. Those two are, yep, this guy is in there, she's in there. All those, those last four dudes that were just like praying, they're in the, they're in the main storyline. Well, it's over now. Yes, crisis. Of, oh my god, crisis averted. <clears throat> what even is that? That it's just. I have no idea what that is. It just looks amazing. This is. They went through a lot of trouble to uh, to send this game off on a good note. This the game was just so very very bad. There was so many problems with it. And uh, it was actually really, it, it was a great idea that they <clears throat> they took it back and they just said, you know what, let's just go back to the drawing board and let's remake it. So yeah, like I said, there was like there was like a little bit of a hope sort of thing where like he teleports those uh, those heroes away. Yep, that was it. And then I think there's like a, there's like a little additional thing, yeah. Once once that's finished, then it goes back to now loading, and then it just kicks you back to the server screen. And it says the lobby server connection has encountered an error. That's it. That that was like you know that reading that just immediately reminded me of um of what was it uh when the DS network or not the DS the um the Nintendo Wi-Fi connection shut down. That uh, that definitely reminded me big time of that. That was really cool. I really like that. Huh. Yes. Yes, it was epic. And and creepy like Amis. Yes, both. Both indeed. Huh. Standing there watching it. What, you mean like actually like in there? Like if you like one of the characters that were in the cutscene watching it? Or like like one of the players and you're just like you're like play like i mentioned before like you're just playing the game you know just going about your business and then all of a sudden this cutscene starts it's just like all this epic stuff i imagine like the three people who liked the original version were upset my god i'd actually be surprised if there was anybody that either a like really liked the game the original Final Fantasy XIV, or B, preferred the original over, you know, Realm Reborn. That that would blow my mind. Oh, hey, I'm level 50 now. All right, let me get my bonus point going here. Uh, now, I actually, now that I remember, I actually have some new gear here for level 50. Yep, a whole bunch of them. Oh, they equipped? Okay, I just, I don't have a new robe, apparently. Oh, that's that. I get it during the level 50 Black Mage quest. Right. My god, my item level jumped from 39 to 78. Nice. Is it the same headgear? Yeah. Alright. <clears throat> feeling, feeling spry. Feeling spry. I can't do soldier's voice. It's not gonna happen. Um, so yeah. Now I can just do quests everywhere. Just all the quests. I can do them all. Okay, not all the quests in the entire game, but all the ones that are available to me, like, uh, like right now, like the ones that I can actually activate, I believe. I'm pretty sure there aren't any level 50 plus quests that you can activate that are just like side quests. I don't think those exist. Where is the damn etherite? I literally ran past it. Here it was. I just didn't recognize this little area here. Anyway, I can't remember, why was I in Ulda? Pretty sure I was in Ulda because I was uh, training at Northern Northern Thanalan. All right, so we're gonna hop on over to the Miner's Guild.
which is close to where my black mage friends are. <coughs> All right, see you later, Trinoku. Have fun in Al. Have fun in Algebras. I know a few people who seemed okay with the original for whatever reason. I don't know, like, uh, were were those people like? I mean, they were okay with the original version, but after the remake came out, did their opinion on it change? Did they did they then say, you know, like, oh, I guess the game actually was pretty terrible now that I see, you know, like what a a, a really decent MMORPG looks like? Oh, I did. I have. I don't have to talk to this guy. Oh God, who's the guy I have to talk to? Oh, shoot. I think it's the guy in Eastern Thanalan. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's the guy that's over here. Alright, let's do a little teleporting. So, yeah, there's a level... F every five levels, you can do a job quest uh, that they give you. And uh, for the level 50 job quest, whatever it is that I have to do will unlock the Black Mage robe. And I really, really want that. Because the robe that I have right now is not... Whoa. Excuse it's not particularly amazing. So I'm going to hop on my unicorn here. Oops. If anybody, uh, if any of the, like, the three people that watched my gameplay, uh, <laughs> my gameplay video, remember I was actually riding a chocobo then. Uh, that was, like, the company chocobo that you get, uh, just, just from progressing, basically. Uh, I believe the main scenario hooks you up with, uh, a, a, a chocobo at some point. Because, because you have to, um, you have to sign up for a grand company at a certain point in the main scenario. And then after you do that, then the grand company will issue you a company chocobo uh, once you collect a certain amount of company seals. Um, but uh, the other other mounts, like the unicorn, uh, you can obtain from doing job quests. Uh, I believe I got this unicorn for, it was, it was like a level 30 conjurer job quest, but it was, I literally had to do nothing. They're just like, like, it just, like, talked to me for a little bit. There was some text, and then it's just like, okay, have this unicorn. Just like, okay, well, thank you. Awfully nice. And it's got a nice, nice little tune to it. I like, I like the unicorn music. It's nice. Very peaceful. Look at, look, look, look at these little guys, little furbles. You know, I should go into first person mode more often. Yeah, and now we're playing the game. Oh, God. Let's not run into the, the rock. Look at the little beetle. <laughs> uh, first person mode is just wacky. It's like playing first person in dungeons is like, it can get super disorienting. Alrighty. This is the guy I have to talk to. Uh, here we go. Oh, there's two different coats. That's right. One of, one of which is not as good as the other, and I don't really understand why they give you one that's inferior to the other one. And then a new skill. Flare. That's in that's interesting, dude. An enemy's near it. Grants Astral Fire 3 immediately and removes Umbral Ice. Huh. Very interesting. Alrighty. Thank you, sir. <coughs> the Tablet of Dazaz. Great answers. No key. Joe. God, I have to steal another Void Gate. That's been the recurring thing with the Black Mage job quests. I have to go to these things called Void Gates. And they look like little black portals that are just floating in the air. And once I interact with them, monsters shoot out of them, and I have to kill them. And then from there, I have to, I have to pour their bl the blood of the monsters into the void gate to seal it off. I don't know how that works, but it's magic, man. You don't question it. The true power of destruction will be awoken in that most sacred of places. I fear I am lost. Oh, right, Daza and Dozel Melok are the other uh, dudes that hang out with this guy. They're also black mages. That's, shockingly enough, this guy's actually a black mage. He doesn't really look like a mage, but uh, but he is. These He's actually the same sort of uh, race of species that are enemies in this game, as are the other two guys that he just mentioned. Okie doke. The Solace of the Gods... Where is that exactly? Oh, all right. <laughs> they're, they're, they're just not here anymore. Bye. Kukuruka. Isn't that the guy that I literally talked to and I thought I didn't have? Yep, that's him. It's right there. 
Alrighty. Uh, now I have to go back. <laughs> I have to go back to where I just was. Alright, let's calm down, Dark Hunter. Please don't do that. Wall Nicorn. Okay. I leveled White Mage just to get the Unicorn, then I got to 50. Was, was that... Oh, I was gonna say, is that... Um... Was 50 the max level when you were playing? So, I, I think you just answered that. Uh, have you done the Hildebrand quests? That name is mildly familiar. I, I don't really, I don't remember though. Hey, hello, 7th Disaster, who is sick. Best sick friend. <laughs> Leave. <laughs> you know, uh, Sev, uh, I'm not, uh... I'm not condoning anything or anything, but yeah, just drop a little hint. You know, if, if you want to, if you want to ban or uh, or time out that seventh Dark Hunter guy, you, you'd be totally, it'd be okay for you to do that. I wouldn't mind. All right, this is the guy. God, the music died. Kukuruka has disappeared. Okay. Gasp. Wait, that man. So the guy I just talked to. Who? Oh, he's, I think, oh, he's talking about Kukuruka. Who is Kukuruka? I don't remember. Oh, this sounds, uh, very bad. Oh, I think Kukuruka was, um, like this, this spirit or something that, um, in an earlier Black Mage quest, it, like, it, it possessed the body of one of these little Lalafell guys, or one of the Black Mage Lalafell guys, and, uh, and I had to fight him or something. I'm pretty sure that's who Kukuruka is. Four is the answer. Four spells of black, four artifacts of eld, the blood of four races. By four alone shall the true power of destruction be woken from the void gate. Does this mean I have to do a, a friggin' dungeon? Pretty sure I don't. Oh, also for the th maybe the three people that remember my gameplay, uh, my character actually had blue hair the last time, and I, I changed it after I changed my character's name, which I also forgot to mention. Uh, originally, during the gameplay, my character's name was Moonsilver, and I got a name change, and I changed it to Crescent Moon, because I liked how that sounded a lot better. My first, uh, my first choice was actually Silver Moon, but that name is taken. That's why I took the name Moon Silver. Oh, this guy's spamming. I gotta report him for real money trade activity. And then, and then I like to blacklist them so that I don't see the junk anymore. Um, where do I go? Southern Thanalan. Uh, looks like, oh, I know how to get there from here. Just, uh, whoops. Oh, did the guild activate? Oh, yeah. Teleportation fees are reduced. That's perfect. Huh. Oh, yeah, so uh, if anybody did know, I'm in a I'm in a, a guild, and uh, the tag for the guild is actually Moon. Uh, I actually noticed some person from that guild walking around with that tag, and, you know, that was when I was still Moon Silver, and I was like, hey... Can I join your guild? You know, there's, there's just something about the guild name that just, it really speaks to me. And they were just like, lol, sure. And you know, we're always happy to add new people. So they added me like right away. <laughs> just like, wow, thanks. I, I I was so happy to just have the name Moon Silver and just have the give the guild tag Moon next to my name. That was really awesome. awesome. Wait, what? Huh? Hey, wait a minute. This guy used to let me go past. What happened? Um, okay. <laughs> you shall not pass. Oh, also, I have uh, this thing. It's a minion. Uh, like a pet. It's the wind-up moon. <laughs> it's like the perfect pet. Also, I love... There's a, there's a little thing you can do with it. If you use poke on the, on the wind-up moon, it actually goes up. <laughs> Just poke it again. Doot, doot, doot. And then I think once it gets to a certain point, if you poke it again, then it goes to like the lowest level. Yeah, there it goes. It, just, it sets. Also, but the thing that, uh, that disappoints me about this this minion pet is that it doesn't move. 
With most minions, they move around, they walk around with you, but this one literally just stays in place wherever you summon it, and if you go too far away from it, it will just despawn. So, you know, let me, uh, let me pop out a, just a random minion here. Uh, alright, whatever. Let's do the buffalo calf, why not? Uh, so that was a little bit strange. Uh, I remember that guy letting me pass before. You know, I'm too lazy to walk all the way over there. I'm just gonna, just gonna teleport over there. <clears throat> that seventh Dark Hunter's been timed up for three seconds by seventh disaster. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I agree. <laughs> Julian. Uh. Time me out to I want to go to bed. How does this guy see? Oh, the black mage guy. Yeah, I don't know. He just does. Also, God, I always forget how to get out of here. Oh, I have to, I have to go this way anyway. So whatever, it's fine. Usually, I have to go like to the north for like a quest or something whenever I teleport here. But luckily, this time I had to go south. Lucky, lucky, lucky. It's for lighting up screenshots. If you turn off the UI, does it? Yeah, I did notice that. I did actually notice that it disappears. Oh, so it's actually because I noticed. I also noticed that it was a light source. And I thought that was super cool, you know? It's just like, hey, this here's this just this random light source that I can just summon. And, you know, it's called a wind-up moon. So, I'm just like, hey, perfect. But, uh, okay, so apparently, according to Boys B, it's just for lighting up screenshots. That's kind of sad. I wanted it to, like, follow me around and stuff. Oh, well. I'm pretty sure it moves on a 24-hour cycle for it is a moon. I'm seeing a Neko Mimi waifu on screen. She's best girl. Oh, yeah, Yishtola. I, I like Yishtola, she's really cool. Oh, this would explain why none were allowed to pass. Interesting. I believe once I pass this little uh, thing, stuff will happen. Yes. Always bet on black. If your level is above 50, it will be synced. What a, what a great name for a quest, always bet on black. These, like, the, the quest names in this game, just, a lot of them are really meme worthy. Why are these angler fish so far out of the water? I don't know. They're just, they're, they're desert fish. I don't know how that works. All right, here we go, cutscene. Um, I'm pretty sure I had to do this for my white mage quest? Or maybe it might've been an earlier black mage quest where like I basically just had to kill a bunch of dudes. Okay, so who who is this again? Kukuruka? Was this was this somebody that helped me or I'm I'm really I'm not I'm a little I'm a little at a loss here. Gaspu Oh my character's pissed. I don't really remember who this is. This is I... This had to have been a guy that I, I ran into earlier in like an earlier Black Mage quest. Oh god. That's trouble. Oh, hello. Arise. Oh. <laughs> Rise from your grave. Welcome to your doom. Okay, well, this ought to be an interesting fight. Now, I think as long as I can keep this guy off me, we shouldn't have a problem here. All right, so we're gonna we're gonna use some uh, fancy fire three. Oh no, I need fire one. I need fire one. God, because uh, there's a later passive trait that you get. That yeah, there it is. God, that um, like the lightning skill that I mentioned before, which I just propped. Uh, there's a chance that uh, passive will activate once you use a fire a fire one attack. There's a 40% chance that the next fire three skill that you use will have no cooldown and no cost, which is god tier. Okay, so we're instantly going to use Blizzard three, as per what that guide told me, and then we're going to switch right on back over to fire three. Or why am I doing fire three? I don't know. Oh, I, that's right, you're supposed to use Fire 3 after you get Umbral Ice 3, because then it makes the cast time of Fire 3 half. 
and I believe it costs less as well. Alright, so far so good. So far so good indeed. I actually have to transpose here because I don't have any mana. That's not a huge deal. Just wait for my MP to come back up. Boom, raising raging strikes, fire three. Boom. Fire one. Alright. I think I'm I think I'm just gonna wait for the uh, the free thunder proc. Because uh, it happens at a pretty decent rate. Got my virus is back up. That's good. Oh, I just transposed. I'm a baddie. I'm so I'm, I'm so used to it. I have to like get that out of like my system. I just like it's just become second nature. Just transpose once my MP gets low during astral fire. This is actually going very swimmingly. This probably couldn't have gone any better. The last Black Mage quest that I had to do, and I was showing this to my voice in, um, I had to seal up a bunch of different void gates, or, or destroy them. <clears throat> destroy them before they spawned a bunch of enemies. And I was having the absolute worst time with it, and I died like twice, and it was insanely infuriating. This one is nowhere near that. Barbados. <laughs> Barbados Slim. Anybody gets that Futurama reference? Barbados Slim. Oh, that was another thing that I learned from the uh, the Black Mage Guide. Is uh, remember your ABCs. Always be casting. Uh, that was that was a reference to um, the free fire three proc. Uh, it's just like I see that some inexperienced Black Mages they'll sit there and wait. To see, like they won't cast another fire one because they want to see if they get a free fire three. Because in their mind, they think, "Hey, if I get a fire three now, but then if I get a free fire three, a fire three now, and then I cast another fire one, that's a wasted chance to get another free fire three. But the guy basically said that you shouldn't do that because, like, if you're stopping to wait to see if the if the proc actually comes up, then you're wasting like the like the overall DPS that you could be doing." Just like spamming fire ones. So you spam fire one, if you see it, and then you know you cast another fire one, just let it finish casting, and then use the free fire three, and then just go back to fire ones. Very uh very uh very smart, if I do say so myself. <laughs> holy mother of mother of mother. I thought you said holy mother of mother. <laughs> <clears throat> I'm I'm really confused. I don't really remember who this guy is. <laughs> Crescent, that's me. Hello. Barbados Slim. <laughs> what was what was the thing? Does anybody remember that from Futurama? What was the deal with Barbados Slim? I remember. Um. Oh God, what was his name? Um. Oh no, I don't remember the the dude's name. I, I don't remember his name, but yeah, he's just like he, he had like a wife or something. And it's just like Barbados Slim was like hitting on his wife or something, and he was like super like fat and out of shape. Whereas Barbados Slim was like this, um, he was like a, a a track runner or something. And he's just like, oh no, I can't, I can't, you know, measure up to Barbados Slim. I don't remember what what that whole Hermes Hermes. Yes, I don't remember what that whole thing was about. <coughs> All right, we're getting some storyline here. Such power. Look at him. Okie doke. The gem of Shatoto. <laughs> huh. Interesting. So these guys are basically supposed to be like smart as compared to, you know, like the the 
like the regular enemies or whatever of the same races those those guys are who just like mindlessly attack you <clears throat> Oh dear. <laughs> that looks troubling. Ha! <laughs> that just looked really silly. He just fell like super slowly. Oh, hey, how you doing? Who dares summon me? All right. Well, I mean, the dude was easy. Come on. <clears throat> yep. My character's pretty important in the storyline. Not just for like these side or like slash job quests, but the main storyline too. Unsurprisingly, I mean, that's pretty much how every video game goes, right? Like, the character that you play as is, like, super important. <laughs> oh no, he's going... he's going to D. D-E-E. -E. The fifth artifact? What? <clears throat> Nald's reflection. Hey, I know it is that. <laughs> I've I've uh, fast traveled here many many times. Sweet. I have no idea what's going on. I'll watch anyway. Hello, Max Howlett. Thank you for joining. Oh God, he did D. He in fact D E E'd. It's hard not it's hard seeing a Lalafell and not being able to slash pet it. Oh no. That's that's offensive. Where are the explosions? Sweet. Doo doo. Mother of mother of mother. All right, see ya. Squawk. <laughs> I swear, I swear, I I referenced that. When did I reference that? Squawk. Oh my god, what was that? I was like, I was trying to imitate somebody's voice. Oh my god, I, I it's I'm blanking. It was kind of recent. Also, I'm pretty sure I, I made like a similar voice for that for um for a scratch during the Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine playthrough. Let us return to Burgundy Falls. Great! More fast traveling. Fun. Buffalo calves are not this small. That's not a buffalo calf. Uh, yes, Max Howlett. This is an MMORPG. It's called uh, Disney's Final Fantasia XIV. No, just kidding. Uh, it's Final Fantasy XIV. Dude. Just in case Max Howlett actually believed me. <laughs> just in case. Where are the explosions? I don't know. The explosions already happened. They happened earlier when I was fighting that boss. Saying, man. A Puyo Puyo God. Puyo Puyo is so fun. It it really it it's gotta be the most satisfying puzzle game that I've played. Like the, the most satisfying puzzle style of game that I've ever played. With like I think Tetris is probably a close second. But uh, I just I really enjoy Puyo Pop. I, I love just, you know, the the chaining. Like once you can, once you get down the chaining, it's just, it's so satisfying. 
Also, let's see. I've in the deep end. <laughs> been a while since I- Oh, they limboed! That's right! Yes! Hermes challenged Barbados Slim to limbo. Because, you know, they're both Jamaican, so they have to go with this, you know, stereotypical Jamaican, uh, pastime. The limbo. God, I remember the limbo from, um, The Grim Adventures of Bin Billy and Mandy for the, uh, the pilot episode, where literally, you know, Grim, who has a Jamaican accent, Challenges Billy and Mandy to the limbo. How low can you go? And of course, like, uh, Grim is, of course, like, a god at it because he's literally just a skeleton, so he can just scrunch himself down as, as low as he needs to. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's, oh, so that's it? Question mark? That, this can't be the end of the Black Mage story, or, or, the Black Mage job quest, because I still have White Mage job quests that I haven't finished yet. Um, I need to actually unlock Ishgard, which is a city, or a pla like a place that you can travel to, that I have not unlocked yet. It's part of the Heavensward uh, expansion, which I haven't gotten to the Heavensward uh, uh, material yet. So, I'm unable to access Ishgard, and therefore I cannot access the later White Mage job quests. And like the the stuff that you can unlock from that, there's like there's like more skills that you can unlock. I'm pretty sure they give you like uh, new equips, and um, and also there in Ishgard you can also unlock some new jobs too. Like such as the the mechanist, mechanist, right? That was it. What what was I saying earlier? The mechanist or something? Machinist, machinist. That was oh I'm sorry. Yeah, no, it it actually is spelled machinist. Okay. 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 Thank you. Thanks for the free stuff. Thank you for the free stuff. Wait, why am I getting a cutscene now? Oh, that's why. The black has taken you. This concludes the black mage quest for Final Fantasy XIV A Realm Reborn. In order to undertake the next series of quests, you must first meet the following requirements. You must have a registered, or you must have registered a product key for Final Fantasy XIV Heavensward to your service account. You must have completed the main scenario quest before the dawn. Once you have done so, the next Black Mage quest will be available from Lalai. I'm pretty sure that's the guy that A Slime memed couldn't see. All right, let's update my gear. Boop. Oh my God, that coat! Oh my god! That looks so cool! I'm loving this coat! This looks so awesome! I'm sure Sev loves it too. So, oh, I should put the hat on. There we go, perfect. This is, this is, yeah. <laughs> this is, this is, uh, Sev's preferred clothing. Maybe, maybe without a cattail sticking out. Then I guess this would be more like a Julia. This, this is what Julia would look like if she was playing this game. Oh man! Except the tail would be pink, not white. Ah, oh, feels good, man. I, I love this. I, I really, I like this. I like how this outfit looks. This is cool. What does Sav think? Your hair kind of yeah, it is clipping through, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, the, the hat fixes it though. With the hat on, you, the hair doesn't appear. The witch hat ain't my style, though. Dude, if I actually had a ninja, I, I would just, I would show you just how a ninja looks. I, it, he literally runs like Naruto. He dresses in all black. He has, like, double daggers. It's perfect. It's the perfect Sev class. Anyway. All right. You know what? Let's, um... Oh, I could do this trial, which is a 20... Or, I'm, I'm not a raid. A, a, not a trial. A raid which is a 24-man dungeon, but uh, I'm a little bit nervous about it because <laughs> I kind of want to do it on my healer first because, I don't know, man, I get a, I get a little bit worried. Cause, and, and I don't know what I'm doing, too, as well, so. Uh, time to start leveling Nin? Oh, right, Nin, right. I thought you said Nine Eye, and I was like, wait, what? We solo dem 24 man dungeon. No, I'm not soloing that. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, right. I need to, uh, you know, let's go home. 
to the place that we belong. I'm coming home. You a scrub or something? Try hard. Yes, pink, give me all the kitty people. You know that that reminds me I don't have like a cat pet or like a like a kitten pet or something. What what other minions do I have? Let's let's minion roulette something new. The wayward hatchling. This is a little chocobo. I believe th this is actually a a minion that you can unlock in game with just in game money. Alrighty, let's repair my stuff. Repair the er, repair the stuff that I unequipped. Cause why not? <laughs> So I returned, I used the return skill, uh, which takes you back to your current home point. And these giant etherites, these giant ether shards or whatever, I can't remember what they're called, um, ether crystals that, uh, the ones that I was basically uh, teleporting to, fast traveling to, uh, you can set one of them as your home point, and then you can use the return skill to go back to that uh, for free. Otherwise, you know, if you try to fast travel to another etherite, as you guys saw, it cost a little bit of in-game money. Etherite, that's what they're called. Uh, um, you know what? <clears throat> let's go with, um, let's go with this main storyline quest. Uh, Alphanod has been waiting for me for about, mm, what's it now, May? He's been waiting for me for about three months now. <clears throat> so we're gonna go over to the Conjurer's Guild. Go back to Aleport, there's a quest for a kid. Oh, well, oh, the Gold Saucer. You know, I've actually never went to the Gold Saucer. Here comes the obligatory cats versus dogs argument. Cats rule, dogs drool. That isn't even an insult, it's just a fact. Julia. Julia. There he is, there's Alphanod. So Alphanod is a very interesting character. He's a, he's a guy, but he um, doesn't dress like one. Just, uh, you know, just saying. Just saying. He has a twin sister, and, uh, if I recall correctly, in the, in, like, one of the, uh, the quests or whatever, there was, like, a cutscene where, like, they, they got into an argument or something about, like, how they wanted to go about stuff, and, uh, the sister just left, and we haven't seen her since. That was, like, a level 20 quest? And now this is a level 50 quest, and she still hasn't come back. All right, the uh, commence momentarily. The Elder Seed Seer, that was one of the people that we saw in the, uh, the Final Fantasy XIV final cutscene thing. <clears throat> she's, uh, she's a white mage. All righty. Oh yeah, so what was, I can't remember what, what the heck I was doing. Oh right, I was supposed to go around and try to find recruits for, um, uh, what are we even doing? What, what am I, who am I recruiting for? I'm pretty sure it's like a, um, the Scions of the Seventh Dawn, I think, which are like this uh, sort of undergroundy sort of, you know, a, a renegade, uh, do-gooder squad. You know, they're basically like Batman, except there's a bunch of them. <coughs> oh, there's the uh, guy. Laurentius, that name's really familiar. Why do I remember that name? I think this is the guy that stands in front of the Serpent Gate. By what fickle fortune must I face? What must the first face I see upon my release be yours? What? The man, the man whose crimes you succeed. Uh, who? I was selling maps and supplies to the Garleans before you and those red belly poachers mopped the forest floor with my earth. Oh, this, I remember this quest. Yeah, this guy, like, like he ran around the forest, and I had to keep fighting, finding him. He's just like, get away from me. And then, like, at a certain point, he's just like, ha-ha, you fell into my trap. And then he, like, summons some enemies to help fight against me. And, like, I think, like, a few people that I was with and just beat him up. What's your policy on reformed convicts? Oh, no. Look at this little chocobo just jumping around. He's having a good old time. Revenant's toll. Yeah. Pretty uh, pretty dangerous place to go if you're uh, 
if you're a low-level noober. Oh my god, that one's huge. <laughs> I think there's two people in there, that's why that's so massive. <clears throat> Apkalu Ap Ap Falls. Is that anything like Epcot? You know, we gotta keep, we gotta keep the Disney references going. And speaking of Disney references, uh, we had a certain we have a certain person in uh, in the Twitch chat right now that actually worked at a Disney store in England. Outside of the Copper Bell Mines. Hmm. You were barely more than a novice adventurer then. Look how far you've come. Fearsome Black Wolf. Who? <laughs> Alright, I'll do it. Sweet. Alright, bye. Who's this? This name looks very sh strikingly similar to Yashtola. Yimitra. Okay. <clears throat> I actually forget how that name is pronounced. It's either y Ishtola or Yashtola. I can't remember. But yeah, yeah Yashtola is pretty cool. Ursandel. I assume this is somebody else that I ran into earlier on in the... In a previous quest, I guess not though. Okay. Bye. Fine then. I don't need you for my club. This is a club for cool people only. <clears throat> oh, there he is right there. Sa sang Sanguled? Not until my organization is more organized. Alright. Alright, where's the... Uh... Oh, it's the airship landing. Hi, friends. I worked at the Disney store. Yeah, <laughs> that was Julia. <laughs> Well, I'm glad that Julia and uh, and Sav are just uh, memeing around. <clears throat> Dak has good eating habits. No, he doesn't. <laughs> Even Dark Hunter did like a face palm emote. Oh god. All right, so apparently I got two out of the four people. An interesting harvest. Shall we strike into Ulda while the iron is hot? The Royal Promenade and endeavor to conclude our remaining business. All right, sweet. At the Royal Promenade, you know I might as well just take a take an airship here. Boop, beep. All right. <laughs> You're doing better than some of us, Lex. Hundred percent true. Oh yeah, when do you when do you run, Sev? When when have you ran? When was the last time? Cause I woke up late and had to catch the bus. Oh my god. Did you also uh did you also get your toast? Did it just pop out of the toaster? You know, and your mom's just standing in the kitchen just saying, Have a nice day, honey, and just shove the toast in your mouth as you're running to the bus. <clears throat> God. Ugh, my nose is just being a real stinker. There's a bunch of people right here. One of one of whom is actually in a cutscene, so maybe they're actually doing this very same quest. Do 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 Oh, I have to go around Ulda too? Oh my lord. On the steps of Thal. Erm? Oh, here we go. Oh, whatever, we'll just. Er, oh, right. Friggin'. Eh. <clears throat> I 
Also, you know, one minor thing that I really love about this game... Oh god, I'm pretty sure it was the Gladiator's Guild. Uh, one minor thing that I really love about this game is how my character runs. Um, my character doesn't run like a girl. And I say that because I played this one MMORPG with Dak. Um, oh god, I can't remember what it was called. I can probably look at my Steam screenshots and find it. And, you know, I'm gonna do that right now. So <laughs> why not? Just while I'm talking about this. And, uh, and while we were playing it, uh, I made a female character because I didn't think we were going to play for very long, and I didn't care. So I just made a female character, and uh, where's screenshots? Where do I... There, friggin'. Dang it. Wait, yeah, where's screenshots? It should be on this list when I right-click Steam. Um, okay. View screenshots. Here we go. I have to find it in my library. Um, and the character that I that I made when she ran, God, she ran with like her, like her forearms in the air and you swinging them back and forth and just running around like a stereotypical girl. And it's just like this is the worst running animation I've ever seen in my life. It was Tara, in all caps, T E R A. I'm pretty sure that's a name that's familiar with some people, possibly here. But uh, yeah, I hated the way my character ran. It was the worst thing I've ever seen. <clears throat> the worst running animation. Um. Alright. This is a little bit more complex than in Gridania, because there's a bunch of different places that I can go to to find these people. Oh, right. They, he said the lower levels. <clears throat> Maybe over here? Nope. Maybe over here? <coughs> oh, here we go. Found ya. Stinker. Came to Alamigo looking for that masked devil. What? Masked devil? Huh? Eh? I'm not the same stripling you met in Little Alamigo. I'm prepared to find myself to fight the evil I now know is out there. Okay, cool. <clears throat> uh, the female hero run. Yes, I'm pretty sure I've seen that. And yeah, it, it, it was very reminiscent of the terror run. And uh, I was not, not happy. I was not happy. Not, not, not happy. You know, double negatives. To the Weaver's Guild! I wish I could stay for the whole stream. Hello, TPTP. Did Deck try and seduce... Oh my god, that reminds me! Um, actually, it's funny you should mention that. Um, oh god, where's my screenshots again? I closed it. Dang it. Hang on. Um, we were playing... It, it wasn't just me and Deck. It was me and Deck, Ken and Vito... If uh, anybody from this chat is familiar with any of those dudes, uh, show on disc. Where is Vito? Vito made a, a pretty meme-worthy name. Uh, that was it, yes. He made a... Uh, it was like a, a character race, I guess. It's like, it looked like a little girl. And it, it, it's not like not like the Lalafels either. You know, It didn't look like a little person. No, it actually looked like a young girl. And he named himself Dex Waifu. And then just chased Deck around the whole time. It was pretty awesome. <coughs> oh, Yellow Moon. Hello. <laughs> Hello, Yellow Moon. Okay. See ya. Come on, we're both moons. You gotta hang out with me. Oh, hello. Somebody's teleporting in.
Okay, this person actually seems familiar. The church, yeah, this was a church that was like right next to a graveyard and it was kind of creepy. Yes, Camp Drybone. Yes, okay. <clears throat> I don't I don't know what she just said. <laughs> I actually wasn't paying attention to like the last few sentences there. I don't know if she said yes or no. I think she she said something about just wanting to stay with the children. Uh There's nothing to teleport to over there. Wait, how far away am I, anyway? Oh, not that far. <clears throat> Whatever. Just running. Running around at the speed of fast. Oh, TPTP said, this Vito doesn't sound familiar to me. He's, um... Vito is somebody who, uh, he's, he's one of Ken and Kite's friends. Pearl Lane. Hello. Landivert. The night music for Ulda is so nice. And just how far I go to avoid getting involved with it. Wow. Wow. What a rude dude. Also, wait, somebody said something. Go to the market board? Oh, they're adding a teleport to the market boards. Thank God. Okay, interesting. I didn't know about that. Um, eh, hey. <laughs> yeah, I'm pretty sure the uh, the airship landing teleport was not actually there when I first started the game. Pretty sure that was added in later on after I started. <laughs> wow. All right. Well, back here we go. The Chamber of Rule. Ah. Alrighty then. Easy enough. <clears throat> so yeah, as you can tell, I'm just I'm doing this one quest and it's taking me this long. This is uh this is a very, very, very large game. Go fight the last boss already. <laughs> as I say that. <laughs> Top lad deck. I'm pretty sure that's the race that Terra's most known for. The small child? Is that what you were referring to? Also, if there if we ever run into a voice acted cutscene, Alphanod's voice actor is actually pretty good. I, I like his voice actor. <laughs> a single Alamegan youth. Rip. Okay, so apparently the church lady didn't want to join. Feels bad. Oh, I just thought of something about Alphanod. Um, <clears throat> there was a part of the storyline quest brought us to the Korathas Central Highlands, which is basically just like a snow field. And I remember in one part of the quest, uh, one of his text uh, text lines says, um, maybe you should hurry up with this quest. <laughs> As you could tell, I'm not dressed for the cold weather. Alright, sweet. Sweet. Ta! 
my character's face. I forgot to I forgot to take the hat off. Or make it uh, invisible, at least. Even my family's substantial coffers could not sustain a venture of this magnitude. <laughs> Basically, he's saying he's a rich kid. <laughs> he's Aorzea's version of Richie Rich. Hooray! Alright, to the Rising Stones. That's the Adventurers Guild here, Nula. Also, I should I should do something about that hat. No, I can't, of course, because there's just another cutscene immediately right after it. Go right. So I didn't actually have to go to the Adventurers Guild. It just immediately did this cutscene. They crash into each other. Oh man, playing Pokemon Moon again. I'm playing Crescent Moon. Is this voice acted? Seems like it's about to be. Tell me, General. Yep. What think you of Alfino's bold endeavor? I think it is more than bold, Your Grace. His organization would pave the way for a united Eorzea. Well do I understand his impatience, since facing the common threat of the Ultima weapon, our nations have seemed farther apart, not closer together. Considering the many problems we face, should we not be glad that someone else is taking the initiative? We have all pledged our cooperation, yet the grumbling continues behind closed doors. Old Da is not alone in her duplicity. I myself have doubts as to the good this organization will achieve. With the inclusion of the finest soldiers of the three grand companies, it promises to be a fearsome military body. But whom will it serve? Even under the watchful gaze of the Scions, it is not unthinkable that such a force could perpetrate a great wrong. But is it not concerned that a significant proportion of its financial backing came from the coffers of the Syndicate? That those unprincipled worms might forge this extraordinary gathering of warriors into a private army. I have trust in the Scions, Your Grace. They have spared us no end of trouble at the hands of the Primals. If they seek reinforcements, I deem it unwise to deny them. As for their finances, full many gave generously. And though our nobles proffered a sizable sum, their coin did not spill from the pockets of Lolorito and his cronies. And what of the presence of our stalwart adventurer friend in this endeavor? I doubt the warrior of light would betray our cause. Yes, there is that, I suppose. Yet I have known people to change. Whether we will or no, the events of the age hurl us this way and that, like a dust devil skipping across the sands. Cannot be done about Talechi. I have explored all avenues available to us, Your Grace. But as Ultan Law now stands, we lack the evidence to convict him of any crime. To arrest him on spurious grounds would only play into his hands. Hmm? He has all but committed treason, and yet we can do nothing? And what good are government? What worth the royal house? How deplorable this mockery of justice! Rip feelings. Over. 
Also, I just remembered, like, during that, I actually have the master volume kind of low. Also, hat. System configuration. Yeah, I do. God, I had it at 25. <coughs> well, all right, now it's at 50. <coughs> Da, 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 do. Where am I going? Oh, right, the Adventurer's Guild. Wait, what? Oh, the Rising Stones! Right! Whoops. That's all the way over here. In the Revenant's Toll. Good thing Deck isn't watching. <laughs> oh my god. I hope that nobody calls the police on me. <laughs> Honestly, my first thought was, Daddy, Daddy, Daddy! Make the bad men go away. Max is the president of Dex Fan Club. That I can agree with. Is that an 030 that I'm seeing in the chat? There's no 030 when allowed. Yay, hooray! Do, 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 do. Hello. Invading your personal space. jump over that table. Also, I like... <laughs> what was something happened earlier? What was it? Uh, I just kind of laughed a little bit. Oh, also, Absol sucks. And then Seventh puts the angry anime girl face. So Cedric, <laughs> Cedric's uh, Cedric's being a meaner. Hurrah for making your character commit suicide. What? <clears throat> beep. Hey, there's no beeping in here, Mister. Or wait, who? Oh, out here. Uh, also, you know what? Before I actually do that, or while I do that, I guess. Um, oh, I can't do trials yet? Oh, average item level 90. Okay, that would make sense. Do, 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 do. I honestly want to know how long it's going to take me as a DPS to get into a main scenario dungeon. 22 minutes. Plenty of time. I actually should have done that right after I got out of the last dungeon. I didn't quite think of that, though. Hello, cutscene. <laughs> I like it when my character talks. She kind of does, like, you know, it's like some mouth movements and some hand movements, and, you know, this is talking. <clears throat> What? <laughs> oh. Woman with gray hair. No, not brigands. What do? Alright. 
It's just this is some interesting like uh, English language that they use though. I guess. Okay. Guess I'm uh, I'm doing stuff now. Really not a big fan of this guy's mustache though. Just saying. Oh god, whoops. Nod. <coughs> Speak with Harchifon at Camp Dragonhead. Isn't that at yeah, that's at the core of the Central Highlands, the place I was just talking about. Sweet. Now I get to show you Snowville. It's an old lady help across the street. Oh no. Is that some O3 Owen I'm seeing in that chat? What did I just say about O3 Owen? N nobody. Nobody mentioned the, the mustache? Nobody? No mustache? Alright. Alright, what are we looking for here? This guy down here. Hello. Er, wait, right? Er, no, wait, huh? Yeah, I'm going the right way. My little minions just... Tick, 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 through the snow. Look at him go. His little feet. Uh, am I going the wrong way? Oh, he's in here. I think. Oh, okay. Here it is. I can't see it on the mini map, but I can see it on the mini. Oh, hell. I'll, I'll just be back here. Hello. Hey. Oh, I remember this guy. This guy was like, um. It was from an earlier main scenario quest, and he's just like, we had to, or I had to, uh, try to convince this guy to help us, and he's just like, I don't know who you people are, get out of here. And now he's just like, oh, hey, it's you, how's it going? Do -do -do. Da -da -da <clears throat> oh my god, that's a lot of O3 Owens. <laughs> he literally typed out O3 O. <laughs> I'm a mustache American, and I find that mustache offensive. I got told I look like Hitler because of my hair and tiny stash. I mean, do you take that as a compliment, or or what? Oh, interesting. Or money. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I should probably just go with the money. Because <clears throat> I'm pretty sure like the level 50 job quest stuff uh, is a lot better. In this stuff. Also, I like how my um, <clears throat> my place in the queue got bumped down to number four, and now it's only a nine-minute wait. The incident with the new ah. frontier hands? No, no, you need not elaborate. I have been following their progress with no small amount of interest. Didn't realize this was going to be voiced. Brave men and women all. They do our nation a great service. The existence of a fortified outpost in Mordona will do much to dissuade the Empire from trespassing on Curtis soil. <laughs> My character's like, okay. You've chosen to lend your support to this endeavor. Never let it be said that House Fort Tom does not acknowledge the efforts of her allies or her debts. Fort Tom. It was in the spirit of gratitude that I arranged for sundry supplies to be delivered to Revenant's Toll. The shipment should chance to be waylaid by heretics is poor fortune indeed. Well, maybe they are better, but like the thing is, is I can't get all of them. I can only pick one, so I don't know. I'd rather just do the job quests for to get them instead, because otherwise I'm just like gonna be sitting on like one specific class equip until I actually make that class, and who knows how long that's gonna take. So I'd poor rather just not have it in my inventory. Yet not without precedent. If you would know the truth of it, these incorrigible villains grow more organized with each passing day. Okay. This new unity of purpose will be to their leader, the Lady Iceheart. But though I have devoted significant resources to the task of identifying this woman, <clears throat> we have yet to learn so much as her birth name. What we do know is that the heretics speak of Iceheart in reverent tones, 
and would gladly embrace death rather than betray her. Such loyalty is rare indeed, and I fear to imagine what so committed a collective might achieve. I'm gonna get into this dungeon while this cutscene is going, I can feel it. Confrontation here in Dragonhead. Some few of their number have, however, been sighted not far to the west of here, and with ever increasing regularity. Ah. A visit to White Brim Front may bring you the answers you seek. Will you brave the snows, knowing what implacable foes may lie in wait? Nod. <laughs> Halone's blessings be upon you. Though I take no pride in the admission, many of mine own countrymen are not so well suited as you adventurers to dealing with such foes. Were they dragons? It might be otherwise. But <laughs> once again, my character's like, okay. You have done much for my house in the past, and I have no doubt but that I shall have cause to celebrate your deeds again ere long. Should you learn aught of value, pray return to me forthwith. A warm hearth and a warmer welcome shall be waiting for you. Neato. Is that out name now? What? <coughs> Hello. Quest accepted. Speak with Drew at the right white brim front. Huh? Hey, when am I gonna be able to go through here? Oh, the Western Highlands. I've never actually been here. I I've never been to this place. Cause there's like there's a gatekeeper or whatever, and like they just don't let you through. <laughs> or I think there's like nothing there or something. So something has to like spawn in from a quest. Off we go. <clears throat> After the 2.55 story. Well, you know a lot about this game, don't you? <clears throat> oh, it does go to Ishgard. It's, yeah, because I was wondering. Right, let me see here. So it goes to the Western Highlands, and then, oh my god. The Western Highlands lead to the Dravenian Hinterlands. Dravenian Hinterlands go to Idleshire. I have no idea what this is either. <laughs> <coughs> oh yeah, I did a small update to the PWMW Hey Guys uh, emote, if anybody notices. <laughs> uh, I made the hand a little bit bigger so that you can just, you can see the hand waving. The hand was really tiny originally. I wanted to make the hand bigger because uh, that way, you know, you can tell it's a wave. It's pr pretty much the thing that they did with the, the, the actual Hey Guys emote. The hand is kind of big so that you can just see it at a glance. Oh god, he's in this tower. This is the tower with the big spirally staircase, isn't it? Yep. Oh, there he is. This guy I remember this guy being a jerk. Snow three snow, yes, Trino, thank you. Oh, it's an emote. Yeah, it's a, uh, like, I have in the title for my stream, uh, Frank or Faye Z emotes. Um, just install Frank or Faye Z in your browser. Like, you can, you can see them on the screen, on the chat, uh, you know, on the bottom left there on the screen. Um, you can see the, the actual emote. Oh, apparently I'm I'm really close to actually getting into this dungeon. All right. Okay. All right. I guess I'll just wait for the. Uh for the thing now. <clears throat> Cough. Mobile Twitch limitations, I'm on a phone. 
cries forever. You know? Yeah, I think I said that, um, what was it, in my, my first stream this year, back in April, where, um, where I said, uh, I, I mentioned, like, um, you know, hello to all you people at home, or on your mobile devices, and I was just like, you know, when I started streaming in, like, 2009, it seemed like a really far-fetched thought that you would be able to use your, 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 sm your smartphone, your phone, to just be able to watch streams, like, you know, on the go, you know, just, like, wherever you are, like, on the bus, in the car, just outside, sitting out, sitting outside, whatever, just watching streams, and now it's just, like, that's a common thing. Mitt Romney, Mitt Romney, Mitt Romney, Mitt Romney. <laughs> I call it Mitt, right? Yeah, PWMW, Mitt. Mitt Romney, Mitt Romney, Mitt Romney, Mitt Romney. Mitt Romney. Alrighty then, I should be getting into this, uh, I like how the average wait time is going up as it's making me wait longer. It's just like, um, you know, there's a little bit of a delay, so, uh, it wasn't actually 10, it's 13 minutes, sorry. <laughs> I'm number two. <laughs> two. Uh, how long have I been streaming for? Two and a half hours? Nice. Shout out to 2008. <laughs> yeah. Well, that wasn't when I started streaming. I started streaming in 2009. Yeah. I don't... I don't think I have the very first stream that I've ever done up on on YouTube. Although, last year, I did upload a bunch of them that I, I found. Or maybe it might have been the year before. Uh, I uploaded a bunch of them that I found on Ustream. They, they were just still saved there. And I was able to download the raw video file for those streams. And my god, the quality was terrible. The frame rate was terrible. Everything about it just looked so bad. And, uh, you know, especially if you just, like... <laughs> if you were just to just take this stream, right? Just, just put it side by side with one of my 2009 streams. You'd be like, man, how did we ever deal with that back then? I should waste time with the gold saucer. Maybe? Like I said, I've never been there. Maybe I'll do that next time I stream this. If you like my live voice, that's a plus two. Also, yeah, we heard that earlier t earlier today when uh, when Julia uh, donated. Which, uh, if you weren't here, I think I can click repeat and it'll just play it again. I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do it now, just in case anybody didn't hear it earlier. If you liked my voice, well, that's a plus two. Well, student loans coming in soon, so why not be a loving, giving person and give? something to ya, my friend. Also, this gets me procrastinating for a little bit longer, so that's great, too, hey. <laughs> oh, hey, we're in. Right after that was over, the game was, uh, <laughs> the game was waiting for that, uh, that text-to-speech to finish. Also, I always like to say hey, yo, every time I, uh, I get into a dungeon, because, <clears throat> you know, it's fun. You know, being nice to my uh, my new party members. So this is um this is a main this is a main scenario dungeon, which is an eight person party, as composed to as opposed to the usual four person party. And of course it's this one. God, why did it have to be this? One? Oh, that's a little bit loud. I need that to be not that loud. All right, that's that's. Fine. Um, yeah, this is what is the Castro Meridianum. Uh, this is the first main scenario dungeon that you can do. It's like, it's kind of a crapshoot sometimes because some of them actually are, so, some of the parties that you get for this dungeon are not that great and it can take a long time. Um, although some of the time it's not that bad. Yeah, let's wait for all of them to aggro. Yeah, I need to wait for them to change from orange names to red names. When they're red names, that means that they're um, they're busy with uh, like attacking another another uh, player. If they're orange names, it means that they're aware that there's a player around, and they might be chasing a player, but they haven't actually engaged them in combat, so they're still waiting to be hit. Once they're fine, once they finally get hit by somebody. Then they aggro, so they, then they're locked onto that character. But until then, when their name is orange, if you if you're the next person that hits them, they will go straight for you. So you you want to wait when you're not the tank, 
to uh, to actually do that. Also, I'm not doing the thing, the high level thing that I uh, I had mentioned earlier. My bad. Is there a? Oh, there's another black mage here. I was about to say because I just saw a Blizzard three, and I was like, wait a minute, I didn't do that. Also, I should just probably just use transpose here so I just get my MP back. Yeah, what does everybody think? It's eight party dun eight person dungeon. Oh, I just did the wrong skill. Whatever. That guy went for me for like a second. ABC. Always be casting. Good. And to the first mini boss we go. <clears throat> also, you know, a little fun fact that um that I learned yesterday or the day before is that the enemies that you fight before like in between the the mini boss or like the boss fights, those are actually called trash mobs. Why? I don't know, but uh also, whoops, I just used my mana ward. <laughs> Whoopsies. <laughs> Man, that should be it for him. I just transposed. Dang it. Whatever. Not a huge deal. Alright, now we go down the trash where we belong. Yes, Eddie, red name. Thank you, Max Outlet. I should have queued into this too to see if I can get into your party. That'd be kind of random. XD. 030. How do y'all skip so fast? I actually learned that, like, hmm, a month after the first time I ever did one of these. I didn't know that that option existed. And it's basically like, if you watch a cutscene for the first time, like after you watch it, and you have that option ticked, the next time you run into that cutscene, it will just instantly just like go back to the game. Like it'll, it'll flash like a black screen for like a second. Whereas like if you don't have that option ticked, <clears throat> then you have to manually press escape and then pick skip cutscene, which takes like five to ten seconds as opposed to, you know, like the one second that it would take for, uh, <clears throat> for, uh, that, with that option selected. Holy moly. Holy moly. <laughs> Holy dooly. Oh god. Oh no, I stepped on the light. I didn't notice. Oh dang it. <laughs> there's like there's a little like mechanic gimmick thing in this uh, in this particular dungeon where there's searchlights. Oh my god, they're going to go straight for me too cuz I'm the one that stepped on the light. Uh, if you step on the searchlights while they're moving around, it will uh, it will spawn a bunch of trash mobs as they are called. Also, yeah, another, uh, like another slightly disappointing uh, thing about it picking this uh, main scenario dungeon for the roulette is that we can't actually do the other one, which has that guy that I mentioned uh, in the end of the Final Fantasy XIV cutscene. Uh, I was just like, oh yeah, that guy, that's a guy that you actually fight and, you know, in a Realm Reborn. Uh, and the other main scenario dungeon that I can do has that boss in there. Um, also, but yeah, so what I, what I was doing was, uh, Duty Roulette, that, that's what brought me here, 
Duty Roulette is uh, something that you can do once a well, not once a day. You can do it anytime, but you get a daily bonus for or daily reward for picking the Duty Roulette. You know, the first time you do it each day, it gives you like a it gives you a bonus of uh, the XP and some money. So I like to do those, you know, once a day. Nobody has hit this one guy. He's just constantly orange name. <clears throat> oh, also, I didn't get to use my new skill, Flare. Let's see what that looks like. Oh my god. Okay. That was fancy. Oh, whoops. I just used Virus on the guy that had like one HP left. Alright, oh, so nobody blew up the unstable paneling over there. Ryujin Kami! Mic interference, really? Might have been from my phone. Yeah, don't forget you have flare now! <laughs> Thank you, Boyce P. I'm gonna use flare on this guy now. Oh, or not. Okay. Oh my god, wait, that just is all of my MP. Interesting. Wait, what? Oh, does it cost, oh, it costs however much MP I have left. Oh, that's interesting. Cause I remember it mentioning something about uh, flare and like you know working it into your combo. It's just like at the very end, like when you have like no mana left, you're supposed to use it. Why am I pulling aggro randomly? Oh, I can't. Oh, it, it costs at least two sixty six. I see. Somebody just use limit break. What just happened? He did, in fact, just use Limit Break. Interesting. Alright, and off we go. Transposing. Here is that guy, Sid. It is the Sid. Sid is right here. He is here with us. AFK. Of course, I, of course, there's another person that's AFK. I swear this never happens in games that I don't stream. Never happens. Not once, not ever. Oh, I guess we're leashing them over here to where the cannons are. Uh, so there's a bunch of different gimmicks in this uh, in this particular dungeon. One of which is the cannons that people can man, which nobody is doing, I notice. Uh, with the cannons, uh, they do like a bunch of damage. You, you have to ground targets with them. Alright, well. I would love to hit something. Just anything. Whoops. That is not what I want to do. I just removed that. I really, I just, I can't, I can't deal with this right now, man. How is it Blizzard 3? Good lord. That's, that's one of the, uh, the upsides to actually click, or not clicking, but actually, uh, pressing the keys for the skills, because that doesn't happen. Because if you right-click a skill, like I did, because I thought that was going to cancel the, uh, the ground target thing that I had going, um... It, it, a thing will pop up saying remove, and if you click again, it'll just remove it from the bar. <laughs> Oops! Dun, 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 dun. Let's not make that trend. That's not a very good trend. I disagree with that trend. That is a bad trend. Yuji no kere. That's where that guy totally got the idea for his name. That, uh, that one tank that we have. Ow! Oh no! Huh! 
dead. Huh. I was like, wait a minute, why is it saying invalid target? <laughs> they just died instantly. Dun dun. Dun 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 dun. Oh yeah, I can lock my hotbar, can't I? I forgot. Oh yeah, it's right here. <laughs> right. Yeah, okay, there we go. I think I had it locked at, at, at a certain point. And then I needed to unlock it for a while because I kept getting like new skills or like I, I was trying to reorganize them. And then I just completely forgot that it existed after that. I'm just gonna dance around to uh, pass the time. I'm ready to start a blizzard. That guy's dead. That guy is dead though. Yes, he is dead though. He's very dead though. Where in the world is that guy pulling this thing? All right, I've never seen anybody pull him like that. I don't, what is this? Why? Whoopsles, whatever, just gonna cast that. <coughs> oh, whoops, I just fired three twice in a row. Another whoopsles. Not really paying attention. This is this is actually the first time that I'm doing this as a DPS. So, you know, you'll have to forgive and forget. God, this is absolute insanity. Look at all this! <laughs> this is crazy, I love it. I love it, Maggle. Alright. Maybe I shouldn't make any JBL references with uh, how this guy is uh, not liked by anybody at the, at the current moment. That's why I wanted to tank LOL. No diva quotes. Diva? What? That was actually a, a May quote. I'm ready to start a blizzard. I mean, unless diva can somehow control ice now. Or, 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 or are you actually are you actually referencing the thing that Seb said, which is a Genji quote? Ryujin no Kenokure. Um, why did I take a bunch of damage? Oh, hey, they're actually using the cannons now. Now, will this guy actually pull it back to the cannons, or are we just gonna fight it over here? No, looks like he's pulling it. Oh god. I don't know if the cannons reach over there. Look at that guy go. He's just going. He's here. -er. Cannon fodder. Cute. Ugh. Hey, here's a pink cat girl. Look, there you go. <laughs> there you go, Julia. Pink cat girl, just for you. She's a scholar. Wait, what? Both sound sexy, though. Oh, pulling back or pushing through. Okay. Nerf this. <laughs> no quotes unless they are diva. Huh? Oh, God, are we actually fighting? Oh, yes we are. Ah. 
There's an entire army of dudes, though, right there. So, uh, probably in our best interest to not. Where are they going? Why is this happening again? Why are they just going to a random place? Oh, I guess maybe they're supposed to do that? Question mark? Oh my god, we're pulling everything back to the cannons. This is cra- I'm going into first person for this. I can't see. <laughs> this is crazy! I'm gonna die, I keep getting hit by something. I'm gonna die. I'm dead. Feels bad. I guess I'll just wait. Some somebody will resurrect me here. I don't know how I died. Feels bad though. Well, everybody has to come back this way anyway to fight the uh, the final boss. I like how that that uh, Tihi pillow that actually does kind of look like Diva. Guess I'm just here. Yeah, Olivia Sans Junis or whatever. Um, this this song is actually used again during the the Praetorium uh, when you fight Nero. But yeah, this is this is a really good song. I actually added this into my weekend music, uh, you know, the updated weekend music uh, playlist, the one that I play during these streams. Uh, it's called Steel Re Steel Reason. So my uh, my death penalty will definitely run out uh, by the time we uh, we actually get to fighting this, this the final boss. Which uh, this also has stupid mechanics, where once there we go, once somebody actually hits the boss. Uh, then you have to load these Magitek missiles into the X mark. What is that? Mark 43 artillery cannons. And then each person can then activate, uh, or not each person, but up to four people can activate the cannons once it's loaded with a missile. And then, and then blast her with it, which is necessary because she has, like, this overwhelming defense that can only be, um punch through with the missiles. It does like 3,000 damage to her, and I think she has... What's, uh, like, uh, probably 24,000 HP? Because I think you have to hit her eight times. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe it's... It looks... I'm pretty sure they hit her twice, and she's down to that. Maybe it's six times, so maybe she has, uh, 18,000. Da, 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 da. Do, 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 do. I'm interacting with the cannons. Here we go. Do, 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 do. Oh, right. And as you get her HP lower and lower, um, they spawn more ads, uh, as they're called. Which are the additional- oh, whoops, I should have killed this, this guy, what am I doing? Which are the additional enemies uh, uh, that appear during boss fights. You think you're gonna get away with uh, killing my hand? Never happened. Not a day in my life would I let that happen. Would, you, would I let you get away with that? You big meanie. Da -da 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 -da. Alrighty, here we go. This guy's still watching the cutscene as we uh, start fighting the boss. Makes sense. Alright, off we go. Oh, right, let me uh, do this. Oh, 
Oh, whoops, I forgot to not transpose. Whoopsies. Whatever. Just swift cast another Blizzard 3 in there. You know, that's that's something that I didn't actually do earlier with swift cast. Whoops. Oh, dear God. Da 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 God, she sounds like Widowmaker. I've toyed with you long enough. And she's dead. GG, friends. <clears throat> I'll uh, command the healer, the one that res me. <laughs> All right, time to go. <laughs> I got no player commendations. Oh well, <laughs> I was just one of the many DPSs we had. <clears throat> That was fun. Alrighty. So yeah, I can't do trials on my DPS just yet. You know, I think um, I'll. You know what? I'll just switch over to my uh, to my white mage and do it. Why not? Oh no, I'm not in a safe zone. So all my my skills just went on a global cooldown. Oh man, I thought this was a safe area. Feels awful. Uh, dang it. Yeah, when you do that, when you, uh, job change, uh, in a place that's not, uh, you know, like a safe zone or whatever, which you can tell you're in a safe zone because there's, like, a little crescent moon, lull, next to your EXP bar, uh, if you job change outside of one of those, your skills go on, like, this massive cooldown, every single one of them. Where, like, the, the basic skills, the ones that have, like, low or, like, instant casts, go on, like, a 30-second cooldown. But then the ones that have, like, really, really long casts, they go on, the, like, their full recast or cooldown. So this one's, like, two minutes. This one's five minutes. This one's one minute, one minute. So, yeah. All right, I'm just going to queue up because I don't think I'm going to need my five-minute uh, cooldown skill for this trial, which is most likely going to be... The, uh, just the one, like, armored, like, black armor clad guy that just takes, like, two minutes to kill. Super easy. Watching cutscenes? Who is this, Boyson in disguise? What? Why is Boyson a cutscene memer? Also, you should be the one that that's watching cutscenes, because you're playing Final Fantasy XIV, and you're not watching the cutscenes. Like, what do you think you're doing? Final Fantasy is all about the story, man. Can't skip the cutscenes. <clears throat> Life lighting. Speaking of which, I might as well just get uh, my lighting going. Just poke and make it uh, go up a little bit. Poke, poke, poke. All right. There it is. My wind-up moon. I love that you poke the wind-up moon. <laughs> that makes it go higher. That's so funny. <clears throat> you better stop refussing me. Don't you refuss. Also, um, hi, and no more 03 Owen, mister. <clears throat> I like how I have three online friends, Seventh Dark Hunter, Julia, and Seventh, who are all watching, playing with Mui. Then I have a fourth friend online on Twitch, Lax440, who's not watching playing with me. Too bad! Do, 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 do. Ah. <laughs> Too bad. <clears throat> okay, gonna get in here eventually. Uh, you know, maybe I'll just uh, jump back to. Super Mario 64 really quick. Uh, also, I'll have to have the music playing in the background, though, because I don't want to mute it again. Waste time. Uh, it boop. There it is. All right. Let's go back and play some more. Oh, it's muted. Right. Crud. Eh. Can't find it. There it is. All right. Wee. Off we go. Yeah. 
Oh right, I need the uh, I need the chat. Where's the chat? There's the chat. <clears throat> well, I don't think. Oh, what? Am, where am I going? I don't think you ever added me. Let's just uh, let's just hop on over here. Why not? To Thwomp's Fortress or Womp's Fortress. Skip it a beat pop do 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 I just messed up do 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 Just going for that hundred coin star very casually, you know. Do 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 Casually. <clears throat> All right, this is a uh, Sev gets to see the uh, gravel or a grovel. This is uh, this is the guy. Final Fantasy fourteen online flop fortress exactly. We paved your roads and you still walk all over us. Do you think, do you ever say thank you? No. Well, you're not going to wipe your feet on me. I'll just crush you for fun. Oh, I have to, I have to beat him first for him to say that. I love how he had like a little, uh, meme, meme response in uh, Super Mario Galaxy 2. I'll be back soon. Okay. See you later. <laughs> and in the meantime, while you're gone, you better go brush up on the Final Fantasy 14 story. I'm just a stepping stone after all. I won't gravel or grovel. <laughs> Here you win. <laughs> grovel. Do -do 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 -do. Here we go. Do -do 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 -do. Star get. Number three. Chip if off wamps a block of. Also, um, yeah, where's my PWMW stars in the chat? You know, I'm, I'm like, getting stars over here, and I don't see stars in the chat. Uh, there's a there's a sneaky way to get up there, and I can't remember. No, Dark Hunter, quit it! Stop stinking up the joint. Ah, oh, God, I thought it was gonna fall. How am I still waiting for this cue? Oh, that's right, the giant um thingamabob. This giant thingy. Eh. Forget how you have to do this. Oh, you have to go up higher. That was it. You'll do the rolling rock star for a .5 A press. Yes, a half A press. Exactory. Beep, bop, beep, bop, beep. Scooby beep. Ah! Whoopsles. Hurry! But first, let's talk about alternate universes. Do, 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 do. Yes, exactly. Here we go. How am I seriously not in the queue yet? Oh my god, it, it's way past the average wait time. It's up to six and a half minutes out of five. <clears throat> Toad, what do you want? Why are you being useless? Let's punch him. It was Bowser who stole the stars, some with me own eyes. He's hit six stars in each course, but you won't find all of them in some courses until you press the cap switches. The star you see you found will show on each course's starting screen. If you want to see some of the enemies you've already defeated, select the stars you've recovered from them. Weird! Yahoo! Da 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 da. It's all getting very technical, Seth. I don't know if I can deal with this. There's my owl friend. There he is. You know, I've never found out if it's possible to grab the owl 
as you jump out of the tree, the first time that, you know, you shake him out of there. Shake him out. Shake him out. Ho ho! Yeah! Oh, okay. Great. Camera angle. <coughs> Yay! <laughs> wow! Oh, thank you for the shine get in the chat, Sev. Ow. Got an itchy eye. <laughs> I always love it. I, I think I told the story before, but I love how, like, my friend back in the day memed really hard about this guy. It's just like, ready for blast off? Come on, hop into the cannon. It's just like, he just, the way that he said it was just like this really like suspicious tone, like, come on, hop into the cannon. Nothing bad's gonna happen. Oh! Ooh. That's not a shine at all. Wait, did I say shine yet? I thought I said Stargate. Stargate! Number six. Do, 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 do. I have, you know, I have the, the shine emote there, just in case. The Womp's Fortress looks super tiny in comparison to the Galaxy version. Yeah, it is, ba it is ba 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 bigger in Galaxy 2, isn't it? I love how, um, I remember during the, uh, I think it was SGDQ... Was it 2016? Yeah, 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 it was SGDQ's 2016, uh, the one that started off with Bouncy Boy's Super Mario Sunshine run. Um, I remember him saying that, uh, when he got to the level that was, you know, redone in Galaxy 2, um, he said, this is, this is the real version, that real men speed run, not that fake, fake Galaxy 2 version. <laughs> I was like, oh man, shots fired. Do, 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 do. I like how there's the thing here. There's a, there's a shortcut right here that you can use, and he doesn't actually yell at you if you uh, if you use this shortcut. Whoopsies! Whoopsies! Oh, that's right. You can um. Right, there was there was a trick that I learned. Uh, was it? I think if you just kind of whoops. No, I'm not ready yet. I, was, I swear it was, maybe it was front kicking. Whoops. Oh god, all right, I have to pause here. All right, commenso. Get my Heyo ready. Okay, swap sources. Full party. <clears throat> all righty. Oh, it's this one. Interesting. This this has got some really awesome music. And uh, and an awesome beard, too. Just look at that guy. Look at him. Oh, that's right. I'm our healer this time. I forgot. Just gonna cast a stone skin, too. Don't mind me. It's just gonna take two hours. <clears throat> Alright, let's do it. All right, one of these days we're going to start. All right, there we go. So this one's, um, it's not like super difficult, but he does this thing where you get feared. Uh, and when you're feared, you can't move or do anything. The only way to get unfeared is when he does that this electric attack, which he did just a moment ago. Uh, also, oh right, I need to be healing people. Yeah, he's doing it right now. It's like he spawns like these electric circles around people, and they go off after a few seconds. And if you zap somebody with one of those, then they will be unfeared. So you basically have to zap them back to uh, zap them back to their senses. Cause you know that's safe. Oh, I just got it. Oh, 
Okay, that guy noticed. from everything because I have a bunch of regen healing skills on my team. Oh, I got Jared again. I can't mark myself. Oh, somebody's after me. Okay, good. Thank you for hosting me. I will look at who that was right now. Jay-Z Man. Hello, Jay-Z Man. <clears throat> oh my god, my eyes. Wow. <laughs> Holy crap. This boss is so friggin' crazy and so cool. And just and, and like I said, look at that beard. Just look at it. I'm gonna I'm gonna go into first person. Look at this beard. Look at that beard. That's a massive beard. That's that's a beard that you wish you could grow. Zaparu. to go. I know I I, I, didn't, I haven't said anything really because I'm just kind of trying to focus on keeping everybody alive here. Oh god, I can't like kite die. I don't know if anybody was wondering that's actually not kite. It's just a guy named Kite Azure Flame. Being a healer gets you quite a bit of commendation. Huh, that was a good one. That that was a that was a good good battle. <laughs> Seventh, are you jealous of how huge that guy's beard is? It's the Witcher. Pretty sure Rama Barding for Chocobos has the beard. Because hearts come out of you. <clears throat> oh yeah, totally. If 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 anybody like has this game and is watching, you know, this stream, I, I should have said this multiple times during the game. I completely forgot. Um, you know, feel free to add me. I I would love to have more people on my friends list. I really don't have that many people on my friends list because uh, I don't know, just like the group of people that I associate myself with, just don't really have this game or have no interest in it. So. Uh, yeah, you know, totally. Any anybody can add me. I uh, just you know, just add me. I'm on the uh, the Siren server, which is in Ether, the Ether data center, I believe. Siren server, and uh, I am Crescent Moon. Just add me. 
All right. Uh, what else do we have left to do? Guild Hests. Swap back to my uh, Black Mage here. Oh, I'm not in a friggin' thingy. Oh, whatever. Screw it. Oh, hey. Just instantly get a friend request. I assume that's, um, Wesby. Okay. Let me, uh, let me get my stuff healed up here. Yeah. <clears throat> Dude. Just constantly moving. <laughs> Hold still, I can't repair your gear. Alrighty. Uh, Alright, let's hop into a queue for a Girduhestu. Also, what level is uh, Melania? Melania Trump? Dawn Freed, level one. Oh, okay. I guess I guess that would be the new character that he just mentioned. All right, that's cool. Let's build that character up, and you know we can do some stuff sometime, like, like guild tests. All right, let me hop back to this. Doot doot. <coughs> oh, I got a whisper. Oh, oh, high stream. <laughs> I thought he said Al stream. I was like, wait, what? Main is on primal, so I couldn't wait for the crossover. For oh, okay, that's cool. I didn't even know they were making a crossover friends list. Also, I don't care if I lose here. I really, I have to remember. There's like, a, there's a trick here that if you just keep kicking. There it is. Uh, no, I messed up. I guess I messed up the timing or something. There it is. Uh oh. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> oh no, if I go here, he's gonna yell at me. I'm pretty sure he's already finished, though. Um. Yes, I know how to do it. Jeez. They don't call me the Mario Master for nothing, you know. Oh god. Uh oh. Aha. Wow. He cheated. Game Genie. <laughs> what a jerk! Wow. I think I have to exit the stage to actually end this, but uh... Let me see. There's other stars that I can get here. Me. I might be dead. Okay. Oh god. I forgot about that. Uh, if I use the teleporter and still lose, what? If you lose the teleport, If you lose... Oh, oh I see. I don't know. I'm pretty sure he'll just say ha ha when you lose. Bon voyage. Bon voyage. Bibidi bobbidi boo. Bibidi bobbidi boo boo boo. Bibidi 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 bibidi. Woohoo! I love. Wah! Oh, I don't love that. I, I mentioned this during the Super Mario 64 playthrough, but there's this one specific spot that I always shoot to that is 100% guaranteed to land in the, uh, right on the, on the island, the perfect spot. Oh yeah, I hit the sign. That was it. That, that was the meme about that spot. I hit the sign every time. I'm not really a big fan of how pixelated the background looks. I wonder if that's... That has to be my emulator settings. I don't remember it being that pixely. Maybe it actually is. I'm just misremembering. Anyway, that was Shine Get number seven. All right, let me go back in here and uh, kick this guy's butt. Da da do. Da 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 da. Ba bee dee boo ba da bee bee boo. Hey, talk to me, damn you. Ba 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 bee boo. Now, the way that I always used to do it, legit, was, uh, I would just go this way. Because I was very confident in my ability to triple jump and wall kick. Or I'm pretty sure a double jump and a wall kick will do that. Alright, let's see if I can do this first try. There we go. No! I don't believe it! That just looks so dumb. <laughs> he looks so stupid doing that. Oh god. 
Hey, there he is down here. See a jerk. All right. Game genie. Do the trick where you do a long jump backwards. Oh yes, the um, what is that called? The backwards long jump trick? I think I, you just do it anywhere, really. I need to, uh, there we go. Oh, I guess you have to be on stairs to actually pull it off. But uh, yeah, let me pause this really quick. Come back to here, commence. Say hey -o to my new pals. <clears throat> and then, look at how much time I've been streaming for. Three and a half hours. Feels good. You know, again, I was, um, oh, that guy's name is Central Moon. <laughs> Central Moon. Hello, I am Crescent Moon. Oh, this is, this one's really easy. We basically have just have to beat up this turtle until, um, it's weak enough that, um, these flame guys spawn. And then we kill the flame guys, and it like it puts like a flame charge or something into our like shared inventory, and then we use it to light this herb patch, and we basically just have to bring the turtle over there to get high, and then we win. Okay, I guess I'm just tanking the turtle. Oh, hello. I'd rather not do that. I'll just focus the turtle. No big deal. And B D. Dodge. Oh dear God. Oh my God! I just realized I didn't update my gear set when I put on the new robe. I was like, wait a minute! I'm not using the right robe here. I'm not. I don't have the right robe equipped. Whoops. Ah, oh, whatever, it's not a huge deal. Oh, uh, I believe it's Ed Spawn. Yeah, it's over there. Nobody sees it but me because I'm the only one that knows what to do here. Looks like I'm just carrying this team. It's okay. Silly noobs. Got him. All right. All done. No, not dance we. <sighs> so that would explain why I was tanking it because our tank had no idea what to do. All right. Makes sense. I got that in. Nobody gave me commendation for literally putting the team on my back and carrying them to victory. Unbelievable. 2017 is a good year. Yes, Anthony streaming two days in a row. <clears throat> were you guys, you guys were here when I streamed four days in a row. Also, oh, wait a minute. Lex actually is here, but it's just, oh, he's not sharing his, uh, uh, what's it called? Activity. That's why it says he's not watching me. All right. Oh, man. Ooh, so I've been streaming for three and a half hours. It's getting close to uh, eating time. And uh, I guess I will go ahead and start closing up the stream here. So, let me cut away to this. And then uh, ask you guys if you have any questions to ask me. And stuff. So, you know, so, so we can do that. And have good fun times with, uh, with everybody. You know what? I need to, uh... 
God, I really need to just, like, return. Because <laughs> I believe I'm about to log out here. Or actually, I might just, um, once I finish streaming, I'll just get my last thing. Oh, no, I got everything. I, yeah, it was dungeons, main scenario, trials, and dungeons. Or, uh, trials and guild hasts. Yeah, that was everything that I did. Wow, I did all four of those during the stream. That's pretty cool. Plus, I did, like, a couple of quests. Ah, I did a whole bunch of stuff on stream. Feels awesome. I, I hope you guys enjoyed watching Final Fantasy XIV, because, you know, it's, it's a really fun game. I like it. Like, for the most part, you know, like, RPGs aren't the most exciting things to watch. But when it comes to stuff like this, where it's just, like, all you're really doing is just fighting all the time. Uh, you know, like, just, just progressing, I should say. As opposed to just, like, you know, grinding. Grinding is the reason why watching RPGs is boring, which is why I don't do it during the, the like, my Pokemon playthroughs. Um, so, uh, you know, when, it, when it's just stuff like, you know, it's just all action like this, you know, it, it's probably less, less boring. Also, right, I need to update my, my gear set here. Equip. Update. There we go. Oh, I'm up to eye level 85. I just need five more item levels, and then I'll be able to do trials on my Black Mage. Yes, fancy screen, indeed. <clears throat> I enjoy watching newer people play and imparting knowledge. Yes, you imparted quite a bit of knowledge during this whole thing. Alrighty. Um, I guess I'll log out from the game. Maybe I might go on later, maybe uh, do some more of those quests, but for now I'm just going to close the game up, so you know, just get a little bit of rest, and go back to playing my weekend music music. Weekend music music, yeah, that's that's a term. I don't see any questions, hello, hello, nobody's actually asking me questions. Also, let me, uh, put a save state here on, uh, Super Mario 64. Or actually, you know what? Hang on. <laughs> I'll just I'll just switch back to it, and then I'll uh, yeah, I'll just wait to get this star, cause uh, I've almost got this star. Sorry, I was busy coughing. Oh, okay. Coughing. We here we stink. Star get number eight or number nine? No, number eight. Oh, that means I can go fight the first Bowser. Do, 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 Bowser is just ahead. Can you hear the princess calling? You want to be hacked again. You know what? It's actually funny. Um, the other day, I was looking through some old files that I had, and I found out that when I did the whole, you know, I, 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 I it wasn't my intention to make myself look like I was hacked. It's just the thing was, it, it, like, my intention was um, that it looked like I was taken over by Ben or something. You know, like, Ben, Ben, like, possessed me or possessed my channel or whatever. You know, you shouldn't have done that, you know, with the whole creepypasta thing. And uh, it just, people just immediately assumed that I got hacked. And, you know, my channel was just dead. And uh, also, let me, let me switch away from here. Go here. And yeah, let me close this up and play this. Um, and I actually saved the uh, like the web pages of uh, it was my channel, Dex channel, Corey's channel, Timon's channel, Zero's channel, or no, not Zero. I think Zero had closed his channel, uh, and Brian's channel, as well as ABTZ comms, and a bunch of uh, pages from Jad Usable. Like they were basically just saving the comments, and most of the comments were people just like panic panic basketing and going uh anthony was hacked oh god what happened to anthony did you know that he was hacked and uh you know i basically just i, I guess i had like a certain amount of schadenfreude just like watching all these people like assuming that i got hacked and not realizing that it was just like a, a creepypasta reference that i took to the extreme in referencing on my channel like i was only going to do it for a day like it was just either going to be for like a night or just like one day and, you know, it's just I wanted to get people's like reactions to it, you know, like oh spook, but no, it wasn't spook. Everybody just thought I got hacked, and I just I thought it was kind of amusing that people thought I got hacked, and I just went ahead and saved like the comments from all the pages. Do you ever talk to Corey or Time anymore? Yes, yes I do. 
I, I talk to Corey. Uh, I have him on Skype. I have him on Discord. I have him on Snapchat. Uh, you know, we, we talk from now and then. <laughs> Timon again, I guess. Uh, Timon, I talk to less. Um, I don't know. Timon is just, you know, he's just... Uh, every time I talk to him, you know, he's just been up to the same stuff. So, you know, he's, he's busy. He has, like, two or three jobs that he works, like, all the time. And, uh, yeah, I know. He had, he's done with videos, apparently. Like, he never, like, made, like, a formal, like, retirement speech or anything. And neither did Brian. Or Zero. Or Dak. Or Corey. They just kind of stopped. And then that was it. Saddest death of 2016 in the My Life is Average series. Oh, yeah. It was last year when I stopped that. It was 2015 when I stopped the Weekend Music series, wasn't it? <coughs> When do you plan on getting a Switch and playing Puyo Puyo Tetris with me? What? That's an actual game? Uh, but yeah, like I said, I'm most definitely going to be getting a Switch um, either just before or when uh, Super Mario Odyssey comes out. Well, I, I mean, I want to actually get one before the game comes out so that I can do like a, you know, like a playthrough or a gameplay on it at least. Uh, you know, like day one. Um, let me see something here. Oh, it's in C, isn't it? C, users, Anthony. Save web pages. Here it is. Jumpy flash music. I saved a bunch of one. Oh, that's right. Corey. Corey posted uh, an announcement on his channel. Because, like, I didn't tell anybody that I was doing this. Not a single person was aware that I was about to, like, pull this this little, uh, this little stunt off. And, uh, he made, like, a, a statement on it. Saying that, you know, I'm pretty sure that it's just a, you know, a hoax or whatever. Anthony's not really hacked. He's just having fun with you guys. And that was the entire point. I was. How much money will it take to Discord you? Nah. My life is now just boring. <laughs> oh, oh right, my life is average. Yeah, I know it's so sad what happened to my life is average. They had like I think on the on the web page or on the on the website it's like um, uh, did you know that we have a blog that we update every day and it like I went to the blog and it wasn't updated since like 2011. Uh no, I actually haven't been I haven't heard of Puyo Puyo Tetris. I'm playing like a mad lad. <laughs> All right, let's see. What did Corey say? Um, Corey's announcements were on his channel. Um, he said, Ant's obviously kidding. It's a joke, people. Stop posting on Jad Usable's channel. And then he posts a link to Know Your Meme. The meme, Majora's Mask Creepypasta Ben Drowned. Uh, then he posts another one that says, And Anthony says some of the trainer battles in Soul Silver stall the playthrough. Ha! Huh. <laughs> And then he posts again, for one last time, I am positive Anthony did not get hacked. Um, if I recall correctly, like, Dak, Dak would be able to, uh, recall this story better than I could. But, uh, Corey, like, messaged him on Facebook. And he was just like, hey, did you see what happened to Anthony's channel? I think he might have actually gotten hacked or something. And then, yeah, they were just, like, talking about it for a bit. It was just, like, everybody had, like, a where were you when Anthony's channel was hacked story. I remember uh, Julia was talking about it kind of recently as well. Whispered Link. All right, what is this Whispered Link? It's a video. What is this video? It's a secret to nobody. All right, I'm going to copy this link. I'm going to paste it in here. Oh, it's the trailer for Puyo Puyo Tetris. All right, let's um, let let's all watch this together. Why not? Oh, you know why I might not have heard about it because um, because I didn't watch the last direct. I I didn't really care <laughs> to watch it because like I I think the idea was it was mostly just stuff about Splatoon and Arms and or Splatoon two. And arms, and I was just like, yeah, you know, I don't really care about either of those things. <laughs> so, not not gonna be watching that. All right, let's pause this theater mode. That switch and put.
put this up. Oh, put that up. All right. Hello. All righty. Oh, the chat's going to be in the way of the video. Oh, well. I can't. Wait, who just posted that Ben face? Oh, Jay-Z, man. Deck hacked brains PC. Trust the dancing sandwich video. That was such a good video. Okay. Let's, uh, let's play. Ah. Sega. Oh, God. Hello. What in the world? So wait, so why is one side Tetris and the other side is Boyo Pop? You know, I, I always call, I call it Poyo Pop, because I'm pretty sure that was one of the games in the series. I think it might have been the one that uh, me being the chief was based off of. Oh, ah! But look, we are online! A concept unheard of in Nintendo games. Legitimately. Oh no, sad anime girl. So it just like swaps between the two? I'm kind of confused. Why is like one... Why is it like Poyo Pop versus Tetris? I don't really understand how that works. Also, let's watch this. Because of this, this I'm interested in. Oh, this, this, I already saw this, didn't I? Yes, I did. Uh, there was a, I feel like there was a new video. Oh, well. Why not? Just in case anybody's not seen this. Th this is actually a really cool video. <laughs> we go backwards. Seizure, seizure, Tetris. Nice. <laughs> Step over Street Fighter X Tekken. Oh, I see. That's a little bit confusing, but all right. Also, I like how, um, it was, it's called the swap game mode. It should have been called the switch game mode. Three playable characters. That's all you need. No more of this 900 different characters. See, the drop dash should have been something that was in Sonic 1. I don't know if it was possible with the, you know, the, the capabilities at the time, but... Yeah, this is gonna be a fun game. Um, this and uh, the other one. What what is it called? Sonic. Oh, God, what was it called? Um, new Sonic game. Sonic. What is it called? Eh. Thirty seventeen. Yes. Sonic Forces, that was it. Gameplay reveal trailer? No. Yeah, this this was it. I think. This is oh, this is just the debut care er, trailer. But yeah, both of these games just they look like they're gonna be so good. This this might actually be a Sonic Renaissance from both of these games. Yeah, this this is like a sequel to Sonic Generations. Where it's just like, I think the plot is like, Eggman finally actually took over the world, and like, this is this is what it's gonna look like. And like, Sonic, uh, Sonic and Sonic have to, you know, fix this. Zoom! But yeah, no, genuinely, I can't wait to play both of these games, and I actually want to play through both of them. 
Hello. I think uh, the idea here, I, I think, is that um, Classic Sonic actually has the homing attack now. Which was like, it was like hinted at at the very end of Sonic Generations, where it's like he like practices it a little bit and he like kind of fails at it. But like, yeah. Oh, look, they, they actually had the code name here, the NX. But yeah, I love the fact that it's going to be on Windows as well. So that's going to be really, what is this? The top 10 worst Sonic games? <laughs> hmm. Strange that that's, uh, that's the thumbnail. I, I never would have thought of that. Like, I just have wrestling in my, uh, my thing. New character in Sonic Forces is Oh God. I don't even know if I want to watch that. Anyway. Alright, so, uh, any more questions? Dude. Let's get back to this. Boom, boom. Show the sandwich now, for God's sake. Fine. All right, I'll, uh, I'll, I'll take some questions as we watch this here. The, the, the fine finale questions. Doot, doot, doot. hungry right now. I'm getting really, really hungry and watching a dancing sandwich isn't helping. Um, why am I sick? I don't know. Because you go outside? You know, if you just stayed inside all the time, you'd never get sick. Although I've been talking about how, oh my god, so fast. I've been talking about how I've been going outside like every single day, like on my bike. Just, it's, it's so nice. You just bike around in the morning, get a little exercise, and just, you know, see the world. I like how up next is the hey, I, 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 uh. Absolutely not. What's your favorite old Flash video? You know, there was this one video that I actually showed on stream. Uh, it was called Adventure Quest. And if Cafro HUD rep, Ace Lime is still here, um, uh, he, he'll remember that one. Because we, we, we used to reference that constantly when we were playing Maple Story together. Uh, it had like it had like a little bit of bad bad language and swearing in it. But uh, it, it's so much fun. I, I think it's hilarious, and it, it's it's definitely one of my favorites, if not my favorite. Old Flash video, this Adventure Quest, made by uh, what's the guy's name? I can't remember. Um, Xenon. Xenon. That was it. Yeah, Maple Story was it was it was an interesting game back in the day, you know, like when it was first out, and I really enjoyed it. But like, I don't know, thinking about playing it now just makes me want to die inside because I just either imagine myself getting sucked into it and just playing it like 12 hours a day again, like I used to, or spending money on it. Both of those things I don't. He's like warping. Power creep and inflation has completely crushed me. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. It's like it was such a bad idea when they started making it pay to win. When it was just like when, when it was just like cash shop stuff was just optional stuff that just made you look cool. That was one thing. But when they started giving you, you know, like, the stuff that you can buy, they gave you stats, you know, like, rings and stuff, uh, necklaces, and then, you know, then they started doing the stupid cubes thing, and then it was just like, no, it's it, 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 it. Like, once cubes came out, like, the game was dead, I think. 
Yes, I do live in one, two, three, four, five stink mill. Please don't stalk me. Oh god, maximum overdrive. Oh, the free to play server will reboot, right? <laughs> the trade off for not paying is playing for 20 hours a day. Yep, that's the maple that I remember. That was the good maple story. Before all this Big Bang nonsense. Alrighty. I hope that you're happy with that. Because that was four minutes that I'm never going to get back. Alright, so I guess that's going to be it for this stream. Uh, thank you all very, very much for watching. And, uh, yeah, I appreciate you guys coming out and hanging out with me. And, uh, you know, uh, just talking about power creep. There's, there's a word or a term that I don't think I've ever used in my streams, ever. And so, yeah, I hope to see you all again in the next one. And, uh, you know, again, I hope you guys really enjoyed it. Uh, you know, like Final Fantasy. It's just, it's so much fun. I really like it. It's, it's actually, if anybody's actually interested in playing the game, it's free to play to an extent. Uh, there's a, the, the demo you can play for free, where it's basically, you can do everything Except for just there's some limitations. Uh, you can't level up past 35, although you can switch between classes. So you can just level them all at 35. Um, you can't use some things like the Delivery Moogle service. Uh, I believe you can't whisper people. You can't... Uh, I think you can add people to your friends list. But yeah, there's like, there's, like a, uh, there's, there's a few limitations. But um, it used to be that the, that, that demo account was only able to be used for two weeks. Now they got rid of that that limitation, so you can just play it unlimited, you know, with this limited trial thingy. There's no more, like, time limit. Which server am I on? I'm on the Siren server, which should be in the Ether data center. And, uh, again... Or, wait, were you here, Long Tims, during, like, any part of me, me playing Final Fantasy? Because, uh, if not, then my character name is Crescent Moon. It's, you know, the, like the actual crescent moon that you see in the sky. That's that's how it's spelled. So, yeah. Uh, so, Long Tim's... I don't know if you follow me on YouTube or not. But uh, I'm going to be uploading this video. Uh, if not tonight, then either either tonight or tomorrow morning. So, yeah. You can, uh, you can catch what I've been doing. And, uh, yeah. Oh, okay. You weren't even following me. So, I'm going to go on a, out on a limb here and say that maybe you don't actually know about my YouTube channel so uh, yeah that that's that's the part that I'm actually you know, just a little bit more known for was is the YouTube part but yeah so uh, that's gonna be it for this stream once again thank you all for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next one and uh, yeah as we listen to the we shop channel music doesn't this bring back memories see you all next time <laughs>